two. One of you two, you make my blood boil. Oh, oh! I, I just realized you need to click start recording button. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Don't it worry. Goes over. Yeah, people don't need that. Uh, people don't need to know about the Czech English problems. This is fine. But there are no Czech English problems. There, are, there have always been only Czech German problems. <laughs> <laughs> there is no there more is in no Bossing say. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Avatar reference. Uh, no, the favorite of the arrestments is my cabbages. <laughs> yes, that's my favorite one. My everything was all right, but then the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Let's go to the other thing that it, it was peaceful until the demons attacked, okay? <laughs> okay. Fantastic. All right, Roll20 has now some Ballerscape music playing. Uh, uh, of course, you can yes. set up your own uh, music if you want to. Just put Doom on a playlist in the background for the next three hours. <laughs> to lower the master volume curse, I was like, oh my god, it's too loud. Alright, just picked up my other skate book, so I have it on the side. A unicorn, are you going to use the camera as well? No, no, I haven't showered and shaved and nothing. I look like a mess. I well, am a mess. <laughs> I know. Ah, it's Wolfgar! <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Twitch cannot see it, uh, but we are using cams for each other just, at least. Ju just, just do poor man's, poor man's overlay like I do with uh, Arsgard. Just pop out the window, put it like a just like a column on the on the web page. That's it. <laughs> no overlay. Not actually. Yeah, I I don't mind definitely. No, it's fine. Yeah. I can't be bothered right now. That's the problem. Well, I mean, that's the have... solution. <laughs> I, I guess it depends if someone is watching and if they want to see us and our ugly marks. Nobody wants to see white men on stream. And dreaming hero. I guess she's the plus here. Well, Bashik is like one quarter Jew, so we can probably use that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Stop with the racism. <laughs> use it for corrupt capitalism, you mean? I, I'm a whole bag of mi mixed stuff. Like, <gasps> yeah. I think the most German thing, it's my, it's my ID, my passport. I think that's the most German thing everywhere to, to, um, Look up into my my an ancestry. Like, yeah, I, I think there's actually part check. Pretty sure okay. about that. It's got all these it's, uh, actually probably not so unusual in Germany, right? Because <laughs> yeah. a lot of a lot of Germans had to move uh, after the Second World War. So. I mean, my the, my. Uh, um, my grandpa, my German grandpa that I never met because he died so early, um, had, had Dvorak as show name. Dvorak? Yes! Yeah, that's Czech, that's yeah, Czech name. Very typical Czech name. And I checked with, with, with Ori that um, this name was changed to the Polish version. Yeah, because, yeah, because of the diacritics. Of the fleeing and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, what? I mean, we have been gone from Baldur's Gate for months by now. Uh, we did uh, last uh, last time. We had a small uh, intermission uh, without a stream to, you know, talk about how's it going and everything, and. Uh, I did have a very stressful time for the last four to five months, but uh, it's getting better. You know, it's still stressful. And I don't even get paid for my work. <laughs> Great. I mean, you know, it's. It, I guess it depends how you look at it, but welfare is not payment. That's what I say. If I would get paid, I would get like three times the amount and could live by myself without uh, debt, I guess. 
<laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, we're coming back. Baldur's Gate is making a return. Uh, I do like Baldur's Gate. I like playing it. I'm still I don't struggling. Like Gate. It's full of shit I mean that too. But that's its charm. No. <laughs> Also, technically, we haven't been in Baldur's Gate for months, so... Yeah, that's true. We've been in Hell, which is very... The memory is still fresh, like a stinking old people feet smelling cheese that sticks in your nose for days. You have a very odd hobbies. No. <laughs> exactly. I don't have any hobbies. Tips so, bro. our players made it to El Torel. The city located in hell and they have freed older raven guard from the traumatic experience wearing the helm of torm that has been uh fighting over his body so to say as like uh what was it <laughs> yes that uh, otherworldly entities try to control his body almost driving him crazy in the process you managed to disrupt the communication that is that was driving him insane by a ritual with your friend, the cleric. You remember her name? Anyone? Well, uh... That's the first quiz question. Uh, Who even is the ritual? We're supposed to have a quiz? I didn't study for the quiz. <laughs> no, but we had the notes, you know, the... The good you notes. Oh, you want? I shouldn't even know the name. Yeah, no, you're good. Like... Yeah, you get an <laughs> yeah, automatic yeah. victory for me. And we need to find the note channel. Wait, wait, wait. Notes. The first so... one to answer this question gets inspiration. The cleric. The cleric that was helping us with what ritual? The ritual to free all the Raven Guard of the Helm of Thorn. Oh yeah, the, the young chick that was. Yeah, I know the chick. The young chick. Yes. It's in my nose. She was not a chicken, nose. but it is correct. She's young. Yeah. Uh, uh. Probably didn't write uh, anything down of importance. That's okay. It's not in I your notes. You haven't she's met the... her. I think she's the only NPC that I haven't. I have the druid healer, I have some other people, and I don't have the young girl, which is, who is the guardian of the... Alright, the... unicorn, do you know? Wait, no, Furia Jinx was not another one. You guys did go back to actually write down her name, because of this exact situation. <laughs> ah, apparently not in the topic. Her so name so. was Feria. So it was fair jinx. jinx. I was just saying that. I can't. I don't understand your check tongue. You need to speak clearly. <laughs> yeah, was still scrolling <laughs> through my nose. And yeah, it's fairy jinx. I said jinx. That's like, that should be understandable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you said fairy jinx, uh, I think Wolfgar should get it. Wolfgar, you get a point of inspiration. It is fine. I already I have it. inspiration anyway. So. Now I, I already have one. So. Okay, if you have one, you can give. Or you can hand it to somebody else. Okay, do we have someone who doesn't have inspiration? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I that, always use mine, so I don't have never. Yeah. Well, but she confirmed that it was the It was written by Vashik, actually. That was where I found it. So both of my characters have inspiration. All right. Oh, well. At quiz, quiz number two, when all the Raven God returned. He spoke of a vision that he saw. What was his vision? Evil stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, he said that some no, like some higher power talk, uh, spoke to him. Uh, that was like the last thing that we did before going on break. Yeah. The only thing I remember is the fucking sword in the tower. Hey, look, wow, okay. Honestly, I'm pretty sure, like, my character wouldn't remember some 
something like a vision either. Because we did the ah, like bumble jumble bollocks. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, no zone. I I think we we would really love a refresher on that vision. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had, he was on a spare journey, uh, while wearing the helm of Torm's sight, and Torm had shown him a yeah. path forward. But the visions were clouded and warped by the demonic essence channeled through the portal. In his spare journey, Ravenguard saw a bloodied woman in armor, a soldier wearing the colors and crest of Elturel, grasping a longsword fit for an angel. Fresh blood streamed from a nasty cut on the woman's cheek. Flying next to her was a small golden elephant with rapidly fluttering wings. As an enormous loping demon threatened to devour the woman, she plunged the sword into the ground, while the winged elephant made a trumpet sound with its trunk. The demon was hurled back as an alabaster palace rose up around the sword. The winged elephant fled and took to the red sky of Avernus, where it watched as a bloody scab grew up from the ground to engulf the palace and the enormous demon. And then the winged elephant fled and wandered in delirium before coming up to uh, coming upon two odd bird-like humanoids dressed in patchwork armor and standing next to a strange infernal vehicle. The bird creatures were equipped with odd weapons and tools. Okay, so Sorry, but after vision like this, uh, what would Talhelnan advice would be maybe go lighter on the shrooms? No, there, were actually... no, there were no shrooms in Eltral. <laughs> I'm not so sure anymore after this. <laughs> actually, the Oliphant, the Holyphant, she, she remembered that this happened. Yeah last time. I think we weren't streaming that. Were we streaming that? I think so. Okay. Yeah, Lulu did remember uh, the final part as she remembers meeting a pair of bird folk named Chuka and Klonk. I will help you guys with your notes taking. This is uh, how you write the names. Chuka and Klonk. That, um, you know, really sounds like uh, something you make up to and, cover uh, up for a bad trip. Now, you guys can roll me an intelligence check. Alright. Everybody involved, uh, which uh, includes Dreaming Hero. Dreaming Hero is not... I'm not getting involved in this. <laughs> uh, is it the memo? relevant. I'm uh, just no. asking because I have the feet, so I would have... Yeah, nope. Okay. Intelligence. Here we go. Intelligence. Do I have to... <laughs> such a high bonus, such a low roll. Oof, Burn that's enough. That was not just paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> bonus. That, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh no! Hey, that's better than the other two Your guys. I worse than my bonus. Hey, that was silence. Silence <laughs> actually did something intelligent. Oh, no, unbelievable. Silence so, has negative one intelligence. Minus one. I've got I've got minus one intelligence bonus. Yes. I, I, just love, I just love how my second row is a zero. Because I rolled a one and a negative one. Uh, and so, <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know nothing. <laughs> yeah, you know nothing. It's so stuff. hard that your head, sta head started to hurt. You know, it's the oh. lightning. It's the There's lightning that's got me. Rising from your ears right now. So while, uh, while, uh, oh, what's your character's name, Dreaming Hero? Can you write it down on roll twenty? So when you, you roll, to... it's uh, it's your character's name. Yeah, I already did 
next time it should show up as okay. the character's name. Great. Selected it. Uh, uh, you, uh, do her name, uh, do we call her Sunny? Is that right? Yeah, you call him Sunny because he. God damn not... it. <laughs> you call me Sunny, please. Um, <laughs> Sunny. Because uh, uh, Sunny never told taught you the the actual name. Okay, fantastic. And so it's sad that the actual name is Gilbert. <laughs> Sunny, Siren, and Cyrilon are deliberating between a humanoid infernal chicken. Or a cockatrice. While Silence believes, oh, that sounds like what Kenku would look like. A raven like folk race that only that... speak in words spoken in their vicinity. That's what I rolled on? That's what I rolled a 20 on? Oh my yes. god. <laughs> I stick to Silence is like, Oh no, I know who these are. These are Kenku. Have you heard about Kenku before? Are you sure it's not a shaking? It totally sounds like a shaking to me. <laughs> no, it's not a chicken. They are like birth. Like, like ravens. And they okay. look like... And, and in the darkness, they look like plague doctors. Because of the beaks. Do you mean we have cunning shaking? Great. They are not so cunning. They cannot speak. They can only repeat words. That I've heard. Chicken. They look cunning, but are actually parrots. Got it. Exactly. They are not chicken ravens that are actually parrots. I love the idea that unless you grew up in Baldur's Gate, Sunny is the only person who knows what a parrot is. Well, I don't know what a parrot is, but they are definitely parrots. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tal would know what a parrot is because he's from the south. <laughs> Just because Tal knows everything, okay? No, uh... no, no, no. Like your country is a fucking blast lands, okay? There is no yeah. parrots over there. <laughs> yeah, there's no parrots. Parrots Pet like trees yeah, and, and ch rivers. You know, you know, chill jungles are just next to it, so. Uh, yeah, if you know. if you would go to Jolt, you would know what a parrot is. Well, he was serving on a fucking airship. <laughs> <There> is, <laughs> I think he got around, you know. Fuck off! There's no parrots in Jolt. The snakes ate them all. Oh you did, no! You yes. don't get to know parrots by serving on an airship. You get to know parrots by getting them served on a platter. Exactly. Mm, me. Uh... Also, I'm pretty sure he read some pirate stories. So. Ah. No, he's not. Who says that anymore. pirates and uh, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons uh, use parrots instead of um, what, what, what do I know? We already oh, know they, they use like imps and quasits, right? <laughs> also, there are literal sn flying snakes that ate all the parrots in Jolt. <laughs> exactly, told you. See, I know all this stuff. Uh, yes, uh, Lulu will. Uh, let's say, uh, where was I? Being Lulu cute remembers well, right? uh, the Kenku took her to a junkyard called Fort Knucklebone, where they built and repaired infernal vehicles designed to move quickly across the blasted wastelands of a furnace. Yeah, this is what gets Tal's attention. He's like, Did I hurt vehicle? Uh, Where? How we get there? Which way? Are well, we going now? Come on. It's known as Fort <laughs> Knucklebone, but you know, I know they were there. They repaired those 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 evil, blessing, fiery machines of hell. That sounds wonderful. Where do we find these? Can I just stick to well, my owl? You know, uh, let me, and she will fly up to the top of the cathedral to look over into hell. Flop, 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 flop. Can any one of you join her? Or are you not the flying types? I can't oh. join her. My, um, I, I just hop on my owl. You ah, <laughs> fantastic. Yes. And look, that's, that's why I have her. Uh, your owl, des describe her to me, or him, the owl. Is it like a white snow owl? I hope you know that your owl is a f 
Like, uh, does it have black it's, feathers? It's a female owl. Does it have the big eye rings? Um, I was thinking it's it's something like a snow owl. You know how far right. you can climb without having to fly. So, so it's so it's so it's a white it's a white owl with some black feathering in between, and she has those very um, staring yellow eyes. All right. It's a wonderful thing. Fantastic. You're flying up. Cyrilon, you also wanted to join Lulu? I can. All right. You hey, take up... Uh, if we with you, I want to see. I'm the only one with the damn... <laughs> uh, unicorn, I. Uh, so you're using your wings here? Yes. Uh, like, describe to me what it looks like to remind our viewers who haven't watched Baldur's Gate in six months. Big, flappy demon wings. Leathery bat wings. Like, uh, like a dark red tone or purplish yes. or... No, it's a dark red. All right. Or bright red? I say bright red. Shing. You fly up to the tops of the cathedral as parts of the cathedral are floating moats of stone that has broken off the towers and are slowly wow. get like uh, drifting off as they are magically oh. held in the air while the rest oh of the city is pulled down by the chains of hell i'm sorry i don't know i just how high you can can you get without flying uh I you can jump fly. five feet in the air and then fall down again probably no i i mean i assume there are some stairs and, and you know means of getting up there uh least. yes uh you like there's like the uh, second story of the cathedral where you've been with the organ yeah. uh but to get further up the staircases have been crumbled uh inwards that would lead you uh, further up into the towers so uh, it's pos you would have to like climb the outer walls at this point sadly there's no easy way Disappointed Wolfscar faces. No, I'm like, uh, what's my climb check? And then I'm like, <laughs> climb strength, check athletics for sure. Yeah, there, there's no climb check anymore. They removed that, so yep. no, I guess. I'm thinking uh, about having my owl just pick you up by your shoulders, which may hurt because claws of owl stick into the skin. Yeah, yeah one uh, is you're both delivering, deliberating this while the camera like zooms. A bit to the left, and in the background we can see uh, uh, Sarah Lon's hippogriff getting fed. Hey, yeah. uh, he's actually wearing armor, so he's like, "Thanks, up, <laughs> up we go! I want to see." <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can see Fort Knucklebone. Uh, I believe I need to double check what it looks like. Uh, it is a junkyard stronghold, and it is uh, at the edge of a desolate expanse of Avernus. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm trying to double double check what it looks like, but it's not giving me a clear answer here. Yeah, uh, so it is like a fortified compound sitting atop a low plateau that rises out of a crater pocked landscape. At the center of the compound is a hill of rust colored stone that resembles a hand clawing out of the ground with gaps between the fingers. That's uh, what you can recognize from afar. For you, it looks like a hand on the surface. It's a weird depiction. I can send you an image. Double checking. Yes, this works. Uh, off to Discord. There you go. Uh, you guys can also see 
at the river flowing through uh, Avernus underneath you and uh, warring ants fighting each other. One side, a huge mess of parasites climbing over each other like waves of the sea, uh, clashing into orderly lines of like uh, what looks to be like uh, imagine like Roman battalions like organized squares lining up and uh, machineries of war and uh, like, machine like the opening scenes of, of Lord of the Rings movie yeah so you said machinery so Val is uh, he has the you know he has the eagle eye goggles so he just puts on the goggles and, and he keeps Twitching, you know, with, with all of the cocks and everything, uh, to to try to focus, and he's scanning it for any glinting metal, anything mechanical, any any vehicles, anything like that. Uh, let me double check uh, over here. So I'm sp I'm spotting lore, but I didn't double check on my infernal machines. Uh, it. So it, it definitely looks like uh, there are several thousands of demons and devils fighting. Uh, and the demons look like they are uh, rising out of the river sticks. Uh, but you are so far up in the air, you cannot make out m m uh, much, uh, much details. Except it's like big armies. So, uh, so many people, you're not quite sure when the war ends. Like, you cannot make it out uh, at the horizon. Uh, yeah, war, yeah, war and everything, but machines? No machines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a machine? It has what looks to be six wheels. The front wheels uh, are smaller than the ones in the back, which are uh, which are quite, like, the, the wheels in the back are, like, as big as a humanoid. By your, uh, by your estimate, and it has something that looks like a wrecking ball, hanging on a chain in the back. Mm, at that point, Tal is like, "That one, that one, that one will be mine." That right. one will be destroyed. <laughs> no, it will be mine. I want it? Around it, several oh, hundred sorry. team, uh, several hundred devils, forming up uh, attacking lines. And clashing uh, through the demons, uh, am... you know, it's a big, big massacre. So, so Tall is like, uh, is like, I want this boy, and meanwhile, I just exchange a look with my owl. Or rather, we exchange mental, mental messages, and we're like, damn, everyone is insane in here. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, wait, did you ask your owl a question? I'm, uh... What? I'm not sure if you said something. <laughs> no. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, this machine is a uh, gargantuan in proportion. That's, that's just wonderful. I want it. It, it is the biggest machine you've ever seen. Bigger than the airships? Like, you can see like eight creatures on top of this machine uh, using it. That's wonderful. Uh, I'm not sure if it's biggest because the, the, some of the airships like, are bigger than Gargantuan, I think. Uh, most of them would be. So it's not the biggest, but it's it's big. Like it's uh, it's probably the biggest land machine. That's not the ship or an airship. Oh, that's for sure. Uh, this dwarfs anything that is being used in uh, humanoid warfare. Unless you count the entire city cities in Halivar as machines, which you can can well, close enough. Magical constructs. I mean, nobody in Halra uses their city as a means of warfare to 
uh, take over no, another no, city. No, no. Not anymore. Well, they, they use it as means of fuck this shit. We are out of here. Yes, it's a escape vehicle, <laughs> which is much wiser than actually escape vehicle. <laughs> Everybody, hop onto all trail. We're getting out of here. Ah, oh, fuck! Not the furnace again. <laughs> no. Yeah. You guys need to improve at this. I don't know, they only have coordinates for one place, and that's Avernus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys fly back down to... Uh, okay, so do you want to make like an estimate how far away it is? Definitely. Uh, Wolfgar, roll me an intelligence check. Ah, that's nice. That's bad, bad. All My right. bird also do a decision tag, but nah. <laughs> uh, remember, you don't get your save bonus. It's just intelligence. So it's a uh, twenty-two. Ah, oh, it's uh, then it's then it's three over. Then it's twenty-two. Uh, still good enough. So you would have to find a way uh, out of the city to the f to the ground first. But you can reach Fort Knucklebone. It appears to be like 10 miles away from El Toro. Yeah, he just does the math, math you know, we just, yeah. uh, just like... <laughs> and uh, you would have to find a way to sneak past the uh, roaring armies fighting each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah armies here. Uh, he will probably, you know, look at it and try to remember positions of everything. Well, he doesn't have to try, he will just remember it because he has his uh, super memory. So yeah, we will just uh, make sure that he imprints into his memory, uh, like positions of the army, position of the, of the river and, uh, and the machine and everything, so he can navigate there. You know that these positions are going to change in ten minutes. Uh, uh, for the yes, you know because you have super smartness, so <laughs> you are aware. This is a benefit, you're not going to stand around and wait for you to be done. You know, for like geographical um, things like river, it's very unlikely it will change. As for the armies, uh, they are kind of warring there all the time, so they are perpetually going out of dying out of the river again, so... All right. The, the machine might move, but it's huge, so we will notice. I'm, uh, not, I'm not sure... Do you, you want to go to that machine right now? No, he definitely wants. It might not be the wisest, but he definitely wants. No, it's the most stupid decision. It's not the, it's not, it's not the not wisest, it's the most stupid. Because you're standing in the middle of a demon army. An end devil army. But you could use that machine to ride through a devil army. How cool would be that? That would be suicidal. That's so cool! Okay, if you have death wish, good point. We, we are so doomed. We are so doomed. <laughs> no, we are not because we're not going there. So I'm trying to figure out uh, where this. We are going place to find the uh, to tower the with the sword and the bird people. Where are the bird people at the one tower uh, at, at the thingy? Where Tal wants to be. I'm pretty sure no, we, we can steal the machine. Uh, I'm trying to find out where uh, El Torel is in Avernus. But I believe like it's <laughs> it's meant to be uh, not really um, put in place. Shouldn't there be like an arrow with you are here? Alright. So, uh, Wolfgar, uh, do you have the map? Like in general, do you guys have uh, the map? Uh, Tal saw it, so he remembers it. Do you have it uh, written down? Uh, physically, no. No, he just, he doesn't need to. He's yeah. Like, he has a so, memory. Uh, on your map, there was no location of Eltrell or of Fort Knucklebone. Are you trying to remember where it's going to be? Just mark uh, it. Yeah, he definitely 
uh, because he saw it, so he can calculate his All right. position so himself. So I need you know. to make me two wisdom saving throws back to back. Wisdom saving throws. Okay. I will not go what as far. the closest uh, distinctive landmarks to Hetera? He should just mark it down. Like. There's no harm in marking it down. But we don't have anywhere to mark it down because we don't have a map. He just has a map yes. in his head. That's why, uh, that's why only he is rolling right now. We didn't pay the 500 gold for the copy. So, right, yep. like you're in the air, you can reasonably see the river. You can see the armies. Uh, you can see a few other things happening in the background that look crazy and weird. But it's also cloudy, like uh, there's no sky that you can see. It looks like constant black, dark uh, clouds in the sky with the flashes of uh, red uh, background ambient lighting. It looks like it feels like there are nine suns uh, setting in the background. And uh, occasionally meteors flying from the sky. All right, Tao. Uh, I will need to get some things. As you try to note down where everything is placed in your head, like, okay, uh, to my estimate of the map, the river bend is here, and like there's uh, there's some um, uh, obvious markers there, and then you like keep thinking about it, and you're like, wait, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, this looks so much different than what you remember on the map. How can you even make a, a sense out of this? And uh, I will have to... I'm looking up some stuff real quick. Uh, where do I have this? This might be odd for him because he's used to do this a lot because, yes. you know, he was mapping stuff from the airship. So, he should be able to map this from his vintage point right now, so he will... He might be like, what is happening? This is... This is not how this is supposed to go. It is weird, because it is definitely looking different from when you looked at it uh, in the past. Like, you have spent uh, a month here. The position has changed from last time, and it I makes see. no sense. So yeah, he will. He will probably. I need you to roll me a one d one hundred. Before you uh, tell me what you want to do, let me tell you what is happening. Tell me what you do. What you, you are. You have become frightened, and you must use your action and movement every round to flee from the source of the fear. So you are frightened from uh, awareness in itself. So he stands still because he can't flee. Yeah, he's, he's frozen in fear. fear. Yeah, you're frozen in fear. Like you want to get, you want to get out of this place, out of this plane, because none of its geographical locations and towards of each other and the city itself makes any sense. None of it. Uh, that is yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. what is possessing That's your actually... mind right now. Welcome to the okay. madness uh, table. Yeah, he's, he's hanging in the. <laughs> he's hanging in the air, so there's not that much he can like do with How it right fly? now. The problem is, uh, yeah, he... yeah, it is. Uh, you're stuck unless, unless it's strong enough to free you from the claws. I mean, that's uh, yeah, he, you know. No, he's. He doesn't have have to free himself. He just has the claws on his shoulder, oh. so. He just hang. He, he's just hanging there. Like he might for a mi for a moment he might try to do like the cartoon run in the air, you know, and then realize that that's not working. Yeah, yeah. The inability to flee is uh, gripping you strongly. It's a, uh, it's everything that you can think about. Oh no, we broke him already. Yeah, uh, Sunny, you definitely realized like Wolfgar is not doing good. He yeah. is. Uh, he seems to be uh, under immense amount of stress and shock, trying to uh, free himself from the class, which makes piloting your owl very difficult right now. 
Oh shit! Is your O that strong? Oh my, that's a big O. Uh, my O just drops him. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. You, you're like, you're making a spiral towards the ground to drop him off. Uh, Wolfgar, no, how, just, how do you wish no, to flee? No, she just burns? drops him. Oh, she wait. She just drops him. Oh no, that's, that's a... Well, Cyrilon, uh, you see the owl being like, fuck this shit, and let go of Wolfgar. Uh, he's like, go 200 feet off the floor, like, racing towards the rooftop of the cathedral. I whistle for the gr uh, hippogriff and motion for him to catch him, because I'm not gonna try that. Roll me an L1 handling check. <laughs> My favorite. This is the worst way to go. <laughs> um. Oh. So no. I mean, it's just one d six per ten feet, right? So just twenty. So, so what is happening, right? Is uh, a hippogriff uh, flies up into the air and uh, races after Wolfgar. He manages to grip. Uh, to I'm sorry, I keep. <laughs> calling you Wolfgar, he manages no. to grip Talo Helnan, uh, like into the back, digging his claws into him, so he doesn't forcefully impact uh, into the roof. But uh, you will take some claw damage here, as you take uh, as the claws pierce into your skin uh, for 15 damage. Wow, that's lots of claw damage. Yeah. Do you want to roll 20 d6 instead? I probably wouldn't fall from the <laughs> He wasn't that high up. Wolfgar does the math in his head and recognizes uh, <laughs> the no. lesser of two evil. <laughs> so. It's, isn't it beautiful? Not I mean, he just said he, we are 200 feet above the ground. Honestly, my, when, if my owl is like, fuck shit, I already said she has, she has her own attitude. It is a problem. Uh, well, now it's obvious that it's a problem. No, it's a problem for everyone else, not for the old. <laughs> no, she's like, no, why should it be a problem for me or my halfling? Okay. Uh, you okay, guys same. recuperate. I belong to her, not the other one. Uh, Tal, you are still insane. Uh, frightened of awareness. Wonderful. So, uh, Tal actually doesn't say anything. He looks uh, unusually deranged. Because just a moment ago he was very happy about the machine and, and very, you know, enthusiastic. Uh, uh, now he just looks deranged. He looks half mad. He doesn't say anything. He uh, seems to completely ignore that his back is bleeding he at the moment. The uh, no, he grabs... Uh, uh, he grabs... Uh, he just goes through, uh, you know, into his pouches. He pulls off uh, Chark. Chalk. And he just starts to writing on uh, on the floor uh, on, uh, and, and on, on the walls, and he's completely unstoppable. And just writing, some you have no idea what it is. It's just numbers and some signs and uh, some magical non magical stuff and runes, and you have no idea what anything of of, of this means. Um, Great, he's possessed. Great. Let's kill him. Uh, silence and Siron. And the other party members, you guys witnessed this happening. What do you so do? So they came. So they came back. They dropped. Yes. Uh, They're flying uh, back down to the floor. The uh, the hippogriff uh, leaves uh, Tal alone and Tal. goes towards uh, Siren. And Siren and Silence. He gets food. Yeah. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, Not well done. I guess. I guess uh, Siren will not at silence and then will go take a closer look at what Tal is writing. Trying to make sense out of it. <laughs> what is Tal writing? <laughs> Do Tal we need is... an intelligence check from Siren? Uh, yeah, Tal like... is writing equations. He's trying to mathematically figure out how to get out of here. And I am pretty sure like none of this makes any sense to anyone. No, because... that wouldn't no, no, none of my characters would be able to Yeah. So Tal is actually trying to figure out how to make a portal machine. Yeah, yeah, he's trying right. to rip a, 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 a hole into the fabric of a verse and then just go anywhere else. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, 
pretty much that. He's just, 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 just don't let him uh, uh, divide by zero. Like, uh, oh, he's, he's writing down dividing, and then one thing, uh, one thing you could maybe like, uh, maybe someone could recognize is. Uh, some of the signs and there's like circle that's similar to like portal cycle uh, circles and, and stuff like that. So that's like only thing that seems recognizable in all of that. And he, he writes like very quickly. He keeps mumbling to himself. He goes like, no, but this, this, and, and this, this has to be like this. Yes, of course. Anyone trying to make, make sense, sense of this, uh, give me an investigation check. A dead event this check. Like, silence is not trying. <laughs> okay. Siren is, tra Siren is trying. I, you know what? Just, just, uh... I will slowly fly down, go with my owl. Lovely. Okay. Uh... And, Cyril, and... I, I, I would believe that, uh... People in, in Wildbound right? uh, use different math equations. Than here in uh, like in, uh, in Faroon, so so like the results should be the same, but it's a strange way to go about it. Like it's so primitive. <laughs> yeah, what is he doing? If he wants to go out of uh, get out of uh, Avernus, I can do that for him. <laughs> it's like, wait, how is he doing that? And, and it's like a, a weird ju juxtaposition for you. It's like. Wait, no, it does make sense, but why does he go about it this way? I don't understand. Well, he doesn't use Faerun equations, actually. He uses Hydro oh, yeah. so those will be very different, actually. What's the difference? They divide by zero. They, they well, know how to... They can but use... They like like Faerun, Faerun use additive and uh, subtract, uh, subtractive, uh, but uh, Halorans, they can multiply. Uh, I'm pretty sure how we are far more advanced, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what far more advanced means. <laughs> they use powers. Powers Actually beyond their sense. imagination. <laughs> like the power just, of two. I just imagine people writing uh, 6 plus 6 plus 6 just a hundred times. <laughs> on the wall, like... Yeah. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus Zero. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus uh, 2 plus You two. recognize... Uh, shapes of nine within his equations several times, eerily so. Shapes of nine? Yes, like he writes down an equation and it takes a bend in it and it forms a nine and he writes down a nine where there should be none. And it happens okay. uh, and you can you recognize it like at least nine times. Nine, 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 nine. So it's nine, 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 nine. Oh, okay. No! Uh, Siren will visibly shake his head. And then the silence will go forth. And he will be like, So what do you make of this? And, it's Siren, nonsense. Will, and Siren will be like, I I have I have no idea. I just I just can't get into this. Yeah. It's nonsense. Nice is there that uh, So silence know. goes to Tal and puts like a, a like a you know like a hand on his shoulder and be like friend are you all right what is this he completely ignores you but your your uh, hand is probably you know uh bloody right now because his back is still bleeding oh that's true so he just realizes it like oh his back is bleeding and then proceeds to like heal him because that's like just silence's instinct Oh, my friend is bleeding. I need to heal him. All right. So he will. And the hippogriff is licking the blood of his claws in the background. Yeah, so I've got like, I don't know, five HP should be enough to. No, wait. You you got much more, right? Yeah, but like fifteen. It's like fifteen HP. So I imagine that he has like two huge gashes across his uh, back. Silence is not very intelligent, so he will smack you with uh, ten. Because he's already holding your shoulder, so he's gonna be lay on hands. Yeah. Like a a, a, a a very faint light shines from under the Silence's hand, and you can already see the gashes yeah. slowly starting to like knit over. Yeah. If if he did ten, then there's like uh, 
There's obviously some red, some damage left, but it stopped bleeding. It's uh, mostly healed. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, like the blood sick. looks like it's accelerating its process of uh, the clotting up, and and it starts to move closer together again. But yeah. uh, but the process is not finished. Friend, uh, are there a, is there a, are there a few candles around here? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, one Hello. of you has a black candle in the backpack. Yeah, I do. Well, I don't. I can't see into into his backpack, so I'm just gonna fi take five candles I can find. Um, there's probably some underground, you know. Uh, you ask Feria will uh will say, oh, uh, yes, we have some candles," and she will go off to collect some for you. It takes like a minute. While you're collecting candles, Silence will. Grab Tal with both of his hands, like on the side of his shoulders, and then he'll be like, "Friend, stop this!" And shake him. What's happening to you? As as you shake him, just a few of the equations get, you know, smashed, and and uh, uh, you know, you you ruin uh, ruin few of them. Uh, uh, no, 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 no! I have to. It keeps changing. It's wrong. It's very wrong. I like, think even Silence is getting a bit hysterical, so he will like turn him around and he will like smack the whatever he's using to draw out of his hand. The chalk yeah, flies across the sky. And like, breaks stop this, you wild man. What's gotten into you? Talk to us. And he will like hold him down, you know, with his arms, like so that he can't really move. I think our strength difference is a. Uh... Are you oppressing him? Yes. This Absolutely. is uh, the, the condition that Frightened gives you in uh, Discord chat. He's uh, he's not weak. Like, he's not fighter, obviously. So I'm pretty sure, like, uh, uh, yeah, he's uh, weaker, you know, than, uh, is the, than the... Physically so, part. yes. Yeah, uh, but he's... Uh, He's still, you know, really big guy, so he's not weak. He tries to, like, get away from you. And then Silence gives him a forceful hug. Uh, you think yeah. to calm him down? Elsa well, just really cooked something. Hugs, but I'm not sure if that's enough to, like... No, no, him. this is, uh, this condition is imposed on you. It does not break. Uh, it does. At this moment. So, I mean, yeah, does. the hug, the hug does happen. Like, like, line of sight, though. <laughs> <laughs> no cyclists. <laughs> I, I no met again. So, so for for uh for Wolfgar's benefit, your character wants to escape this Avernus, like with every fiber of his being. That's his that's his uh, mindset imposed on him. But he he's not aware that it's imposed on him, yeah. right? Uh, this is yeah. when Unicorn comes back with candles. Uh, I'm gonna step outside into the court because I don't want to do what I will do inside your field. Okay. If any of you, may, maybe Tal want to join. Uh, Silence will like let Tal go to like release him. Tal, Tal just goes for his uh, Tal goes for the chalk and resumes his writing. Oh, the chalk! I can use that too. Okay. <laughs> he, uh, he continues writing. He doesn't seem to be following you, Zeralon. I'm gonna take a piece of his jaw. Yeah, some of him. He's broken. holding his, his hands. Yeah, just like wrestling him over for the child. No, 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 because see. some of it broke off and is on the floor, right? You you took the biggest part. Okay. Okay. Then. I'm, I'm only need a small part. I'm just gonna make a call. Okay, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna do the ritual to send a call. How long does it take? The ritual? It doesn't say. Uh, you you never told me. So uh, uh, like you... if you if you cast a spell, and it's a ritual, that is ten minutes. Uh, oh, this is the personalized one for your. Yes. Then it takes nine minutes. <laughs> hey, okay. hey, what you doing there, Lars? Is is this gonna help him or something? Also, it's we gonna help us. Also, in we, some way, maybe. We were Depends really, on the price. Uh, we weren't really acquainted. I'm, I'm Siren. 
Please You're looking nice at a handsome devil, Kiflin. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's the way I would describe him. He's a handsome devil. Definitely. Well, guess what? I'm a handsome more devil. Oh, well, wow. I mean, I... Siren didn't say that he's handsome, but you're reacting to it like, wait, I'm I'm more handsome than you, and you continue with <laughs> the ritual. <laughs> no, it's like she scribbles the runes on the ground and holds one hand up to him to shake it while continuing the ritual. Yeah, he sees that you are not looking at him, so he high fives it. You don't understand! <laughs> Cyril and no, I look at you while the holding out the hand. I just continue. Oh, already. okay. Well, then he shakes it. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. What I works? don't have to look. I have it in my blood, so to say. Ah, you yeah. don't understand. Cyril has to be more devil at everything. And then they have it. <laughs> so she has to be even more handsome than you. She's not pretty. She's more handsome. <laughs> What's your... Uh... What's she doing? Joining Sal with, with smearing stuff on the wall, I take some tiny piece of chalk from the ground and draw suns everywhere. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so fantastic. Uh, silence, will, silence will be like, Sunny? Uh, yes? Oh, so you do communicate. It's not yes. like the same madness has gripped you. No, I just thought maybe, maybe make it a little nicer when we already... Uh. I All right. see. Trying to trying to find a connection, uh, right? Yes. Maybe I can find a connection by entering his madness. This looks more like a kindergarten to me. So. I mean, do you Go have on. like a, a skill as a painter? No. So this will probably look terrible. Uh, I would so say who, roll who in me... this party. I, can I just do a dexterity uh, Yes, off? yes, yes. Roll me a dexterity skill. No, today it doesn't go well. Uh, so does... they're, they're round circles with lines going off of them. So can we all agree that Tal looks really distressed? No, well, he, he doesn't look distressed. He looks disheveled. Uh, yeah, so in the at the middle point of your ritual, is there alone. When you're like halfway there, uh, tell your condition stops. You regain your senses. Yeah, this just stops in in middle of the one of the equation and he just makes a step back. And... You can think okay. clearly oh. again. This is wrong. The is gone. Did he ever think, uh, think clearly? Well, yeah, all the time. He's like much smarter than Wait, what did he say? What did he say? What did Tal say? So he just stops away. He looks at the equations. He's like, that's wrong. That's all wrong. Who wrote it? Did I wrote this? Um, you hmm. have the smudges on your fingers strongly yeah, yeah, he's pushed he's inside. Looking at the chart and he's like, this is interesting. I just do not see the evidence is on your hands. Your back hurts. My back hurts. Uh, There's blood on your fingers. You mind to actually tell me what um, happened here because uh, I. Tal, you are back! I. Well, technically, yes, because last thing I remember is that I was uh, up there. Silence will hug you again. Oh. You, you've, oh. Got, you've got hot, uh, hot uh, dragonborn breath right in your face. A beer hug? Okay, he's. He, yeah, yeah, he, he just. He just. Oh, oh, we are doing this. Okay then. Hug you, friend! Hala <laughs> Halnan hugs you all! So he gives you the bear hug back. He's uh, he's about as big as uh, as uh, Silence, you know, so yeah, uh, it's, it's two bear hugs. I'm, I'm taking steps back in, in fear of getting hugged because I'm tiny and. Yeah, I that's, don't uh, that's actually a danger here right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just I just realized I want to roleplay Silence as uh, the uh, uh, what's his name black guy from Warhammer Forty Thousand. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, okay. The dead guy. The dead guy, yeah. Well, uh, Salamanders, uh, Primark. I don't know. Oh. Okay, never mind. I'll have to show you the video later. Sorry for oh. breaking up the yep. mood. No worries. No, Hugs so... for everyone. So, who is near Cyril and who of those speaks uh, or can read Infernal? 
speaks or read Inferno. I is proficient think... in. All, te- uh, all people Siren, get it. Siren actually, yeah, Siren actually does. So okay. he could see that the circle, that the stuff Cyrilon is writing down is a summoning ritual. Uh, you, sh- you sure that's gonna help anyone last? So yes, we're kind of in 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 a wilderness. Have you noticed how magic is kind of fucked here? I, I'm sure you don't want to summon an imp or worse. No, that's exactly what I want to summon. Uh, well, okay, well then, be my guest. Eh? Be my guest. <laughs> like no issue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ten All steps right. back. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. at least it's what I expect to come out of it, because she yeah. never shows up herself at the first call. At, at this point, at this point, uh, uh, Tal will just, you know, stop himself up, and then uh, knocks on uh, Silence's shoulder pad, like... Because yes. you know, they were hugging, so he just knocks on his shoulder pad and... Yes. Uh, Silence? Uh, imp summoning over there? Oh, Imp summoning? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I completely forgot about that. What the hell are you doing, devil woman? I'm making a call. Sal said that you are no. summoning imps. Well, I don't know if it's an imp. It may be an imp. It's probably an imp. Imps are fiends. Yes. So s- dead. Do not. Why would you summon more fiends in this situation? Because he's her. gonna help us. How is an infernal fiend going to help us? I'm sorry, Sonny. Go ahead. Did you look at her? Did you look at the other guy? I'm pretty yeah, sure. Did not you look every... at me? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure not every devil is super evil. And I say that. I thought he's not the devil, he's a tiefling. Pretty much yes. close to the I mean, devil. actually, it wasn't blue like this before. We made him blue. Silence is gonna, like, fold his arms and, like, silently watch over Cyrulan. Yeah, uh, Tal will just, uh, you know, hunch down, he will uh, put his hands on his knees and he will hunch down to be, well, not at the same high as Sunny, but closer, and he will be like, oh, he wasn't always like this, I mean, he was always tiefling, but he was different tiefling, but that, and then we made him different tiefling, but alive. But we know him, he's our friend. She, uh, well... She's a new friend, so we don't know her that well yet. Sarah, the nearest friend. <laughs> yes. What is the ritual? It's a summoning ritual for my mother. For your mom? Yes. Um. Is hold- she an imp? So this no. is uh, this is not like a spell in a spell book, right? You are calling on your. Uh, we oh. talked about this, that you can summon... I'm making the circle, the symbols, the candles, and then my blood. Why and is Sarah not a warlock? Her mom would be a summoning great Summoning ritual for yeah. your mom is nothing anyone would ever do willingly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't do it willingly, I would. We did talk about um, the, this thing. I don't remember if we agreed to that you can talk to her or that she physically arrives. No, she is. Uh, she either comes when she decides uh, she wants to, or she sends someone to speak on her behalf and take my message. All right. Like an imp. You finished the ritual. Oh, the uh, yes. You we'll pull. Forget. Do you have a ritual knife? I hope you do, because that's what you need. Well, I thought my normal dagger would suffice. I mean, you would be smudged the ritual, but it would work. <laughs> it's heresy, <laughs> but you know. This is an infernal ritual. It's heresy anyway. You you Depending have to follow the protocol. Way. That's the thing with infernal rituals. It has to rituals. be the proper heresy. You can't. Make okay, this... where do I get a ritual knife at hell? Well, I guess every god has a street vendor. There's several ritual knives in the church. Yeah, but those are holy. <laughs> oh no, that would yeah. be even. I mean, you would corrupt the knife, so. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. I don't care about that. <laughs> you use <laughs> your you. you use your stumpy uh, little dagger, and cut your hand, and squeeze uh, the blood into the ritual. The runes shit. flare up. 
I wanted to give her the, the scimitar. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, the dragon talon? Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. to call it yeah. a dragon. <laughs> yes! Yes! That's Wouldn't such that a ritual thing. Wouldn't that corrupt the ritual? Siren, be like, Siren would be like, Hey, I'm seeing that you're doing the ritual with a regular dagger. I would advise against it, you know? Uh, knowing as I know stuff about some stuff about magic myself, uh, not much, but... Uh, not, the, not like I can do rituals, but I've seen people do rituals and they use uh, ceremonial things like this one. And he just hoists the fucking scimitar in her face. <laughs> like this one. Uh, would you like to borrow mine? It's not no. like I'm going to be doing any rituals anytime soon. All right, well then I'm just going to Isn't this it. a Tiamat ritual thingy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. I guess. So, we took that, it off some dragon dudes. Wouldn't that corrupt the ritual too? I don't know. I'm not an expert on the rituals. I yeah, I'm not risking you. calling the wrong devil, so uh, okay. I'm doing it my way. Yeah, well, you or, make, or it makes Tiamat very angry at you. She's yeah. always angry. Just let me yeah. take down some notes. No, it no. will make probably silence very angry at you. You know. Silence? Yeah, silence. If all like... else fails, I'm gonna search the ruins for Meteor Obsidian Splinter and gonna use that. Alright, alright. Once silence sees Siren with the <laughs> with the with the scimitar, he, there is like a low constant low growl coming from his like throat. Put yeah. that thing away. Uh your mount does the same growl when you do it. Yeah. Put that thing away, sorcerer. Arr. Put that scimitar Arr. down. Put that scimitar down. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Well, I'm, I was, I'm out of here anyways. I'm just going to lean uh, next to that wall, and I'm just going to look at the, this ritual, which looks really amazing. Uh, uh, unicorn, uh, tell serum. me the words as you summon your mom. What, what do you... What do you call out? You need to physically call out who you're summoning. Are you torturing me with uh, stand-up ritualistic stuff now? I mean, you knew about that you can do a ritual to summon your mom, so I expect that you know what you say during a uh, summoning ritual. Stuff that no one can understand. Uh, <laughs> because say... I can speak Infernal. Yeah, you speak uh, Infernal. Siren, Siren speaks Infernal. What but does Siren hear? Yeah, what does Siren hear? Oh, what what, what the words are? It's like, mommy, mommy, help your gummy. No. It's wow. a bit more adult. Mom! Oh, you are calling your mom for help, so I just... Help! Um... Help! Help! Mom? 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 Take off the phone, mom? damn it! Basic. Kitty that she's calling the damn it, Sila Miel. Sila Miel. See, see, okay. Lamia. I'm crying. Is this the? Your blood starts steaming, and smoke arises from it. Just <laughs> and it swirls up, uh, in a like a tornado-like fashion, as a small little tornado oh, into the, the air. And then it uh, dissipates, and inside you see standing, uh, a small horned devil with a sting-like tail that is wearing a black tailored suit with a white cravat that is holding up a scroll and uh, and like a feather with, binoc uh, with like binoculars on his little impish uh, nose <clears throat> and it will say your mom is currently unavailable what can I do for you mistress what I expected, and it does like an elaborate <laughs> bow with a very annoyed face, uh, like expression on its face. Please leave a message <laughs> holding up the what scroll and expect? the feather. Yeah, um, first, this guy over there pointing at Tal, uh, he might want to leave uh, Avernus, I think. What? No, I don't. Yes. There is interesting machinery here, and uh, mm -hmm. it's quite interesting. Ritual. Also, uh, what I would like is uh, methods of navigation, Avernus, a map. 
and knowing where we are on this map. Well, map would certainly be helpful. It seems I ran some trouble. Can you please stop talking there, back there? I'm talking here. Yeah, but... Except if you want to summon a devil and uh, make your own request. Uh, he, he talks to you, he doesn't care that you don't talk back to him. Kick hot slack. Ah, my pen is not working. You need more blood? His pen is not working. Yeah. Alright. He wants to go back home. Have you uh, tried summoning a portal? Do I look like a wizard to you? Yeah, does she look like a wizard to you, Imp? Shut up back there. Uh, he likes shrugs. Well, I don't uh, remember what vocation he took. Not wizard. Didn't your mom educate you on how to make a deal with uh, with the mortals so they can summon you into the mortal realm and sl enslave them? Yes, but I'd, unless I make the deal that I become a full devil, I can't make deals without an actual devil, so I need an actual devil to be present for that, so... Uh. Wait. You Typical like half blood. Hey. No worries. No reason to insult me. Whatever you say, princess. <laughs> so, you want a map? I would like one, yes. Please. We don't have those. Could you uh, acquire one? Well, the last map has been uh, uh, created like 130 years ago and resides in... He like uh, pulls up like a tome behind his back, whoop, and opens it up and flitters through it. Can and I then he stops. Ah oh, yes, it resides in uh, Candlekeep. I haven't been there. Uh, okay, uh, well, not a problem. You could try to create a map, but if you do so, you could very well go insane. That would be new. Oh yeah, that is a problem. That's why we don't have maps. I request you acquire a guide of the local area. Inside me, okay. who? He shrugs like Amba from. He looks around. The city looks Wait. new. Yeah, it's not from here. Ah, oh, well. Classic awareness problems. <laughs> yeah, everything changes. No worries. Awareness never changes. So any means of navigation, even if it's just a ball of blood that shows us where we want to go? Don't look at me, I'm just a messenger here. We yeah, don't have a I... pact, I'm not here to be your personal familiar. This is the wrong ritual for this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could do the job, but that's not what I'm hired for. Oh, you don't pay for this. You get paid for taking my message, taking my wishes, and uh, sending them to someone who is uh, able. Uh, Capable, right? Alright, so go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. Advantage because we are both devils? Nope. <laughs> because then you would both have advantage. You can so roll 50, because 50 your mom is powerful and he serves her. I can roll because my mom. Yes, is this a 15? It's a 50 50. <sighs> Uh, you know. Uh, roll a mom check. How? He will say, look, I cannot summon Charisma. devils. I recommend to you that you are one of your friends. Uh, cast a find familiar spell. One of them will show up and they will be bound to serve them. Use that. Or uh, ask a local. Uh, can't do that, chief. Not, not, not in my room. Like, what can uh, you do? Uh, freeze that's, stuff. That's for later. completely useless. Like food. I can freeze a chicken. Have you seen any chickens here lately? No. Because there aren't any. I mean, I can do some more, you know... Awesome shit, like melt faces. That's why they call me Captain Melter back in Baldur's Gate. Beyond Burgersgate. 
Well, that's why they don't call me Captain Melter anymore. I wouldn't call you Captain Melter anywhere. Because his name is stupid. Well, then wow, you'll be mistaken. Yeah, like, so how do we go about uh, getting a local guide here? I thought that you would be a local guide, but... but you, uh, I'm the messenger. As, as you would seem. Yes, he's the messenger. Look, it's easy. Oh. You make a deal with the devil, they will guide you. Uh, you pay them, one way or yeah, another. But they will, they will want like souls and shit. I, I have only one, and I'm not willing to part. Like you know, the devil take different things than souls. Like for minor stuff, like being your guide and not having to do any other work, they probably take something different than your soul. Do they take like money? But I just, yeah, sometimes. Well, I got like ten gold to my name, so we can pay a guide. What, I recommend minutes? power. Power is a good trade. You have a magic item. Influence. Reputation. A holy symbol to destroy. Wow. What symbol to destroy? Uh, a we have coin. all of that here, but uh, I doubt that anyone is willing to pay that price. Because they all have them. Well, you guys are so shady. Well, I, have a, I have a black candle. You want a black my, candle? My character doesn't understand anything, so it's like... <laughs> uh, do you show him the black candle? Yeah. Where did you take the black candle from? It was the dungeon. Uh, and, uh, from, yeah, from the dungeon. The dungeon of, of the dead tree. Now yeah. he's asking you. Yeah, I will I will tell him. Like, ah, I took it from some like uh, cult of the dead tree sort of things, like necromancers and shit. Oh, oh no, you're one of those types. Uh. What type? A looter? Looters, Adventure. Tomb Raiders. They like to yeah, take stuff and they have no idea what they're holding. You know, exactly. this is a, this is a race dead uh, candle right there, right? No, I had no idea, but thanks for telling me. Now I can trade it with a, uh, with a devil for, wait a minute, race dead? What can it do? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. You removed it from its purpose. Now it's just a black candle. Wow. That kinda hurt. Yeah, no worries about it. Balls get hurt a lot. Yeah. Yeah, just surprise, it's robots. Surprise, A devil hurts your feelings. Yeah, I guess I would expect that. Um, uh, what else? Oh, God. Hmm. I don't really get anything that I want to part with other than this capital. Uh, you can make me a negotiations check. I mean, you could trade a, a favor in, like something you're going to do for the devil in the future. What's a... yeah, I don't like those. I'm, I'm not so stupid. I mean, well. he is stupid. What's a <clears throat> negotiations check? Persuasion? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll do a negotiations check with the devil. That's uh, not how I thought it would turn out. I will offer you a deal. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, on the four eyes. Please. Yep. Turn around, children. S no room for halflings. Take, take that gets... big bear with you. No, he wait, points wait, at uh, Tal. Cyrano just gets up, shoes a siren towards the imp. And everyone else inside the cathedral. <laughs> hey, what? What? Wait a minute! This guy is just going to do a deal with the devil. Is he stupid or something? Well, that's his problem. <laughs> no, mate, I've got it handled. <laughs> all right, all right. So now, now you're gonna show me your junk, and I'm gonna show you my junk, and I'm gonna then tell everybody. The Isn't it you've And that's. The, uh, what that's is the, the name of your mom again? Sila Mira. Sila Mea could use his services. I have a task for you. In exchange, I will guide you in Avernus for three days. Wait, you said you can't guide us. Why do we need guidance again? Everybody else went inside again. Oh. Yeah, no, Tal, Tal couldn't. Tal, Look, Tal, Tal, I can Tal. guide you for, uh, for price. This ritual is here to summon me as a messenger. What we are doing is a second deal on top of the first one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Now, here is what my mistress wants from you. Have sex with a married woman. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? I'm in the middle of hell. I think only married woman here is uh, Silence's mother. <laughs> uh, he shrugs and says, Well, this is a city of Eltral, is it not? Surely there are several married women here. I've heard one of so, them has so, like uh, twin children. So you're gonna guide us for yes. three days. Yes. And... He like summons uh, what appears to be like a metal slate. With infernal runes on it, as, it's, uh, uh, as he writes out the contract. Three what days? That's kind of important. For three days. Three actual days, like my days. We will use the calendar of Faerun for this. Yeah, but how does calendar of Faerun transfer to a calendar of like uh, seventy-two hours? Please. Okay. Well, that that works better. Okay, 72 hours, you will guide us. And in exchange, I need to have sex with a married woman. Within the time frame, yes. Oh, wait a minute. That's Now you're adding more conditions. Well, I will need works. to know that you're holding up your end of the bargain, right? I mean... I mean, won't you know anyways? Aren't you like a, like a really, like a devil? You, you live forever or Are something? you saying that uh, three days is not enough time for you to get the job done? Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I, I need to warm up, you know, I need to find chocolates. It's hard to find chocolates in hell. He's, uh, you uh, know, he's writing down some notes. All right, look, yeah. does need to be three days. I understand your predicament. You're not that handsome. You could use some help, maybe. Maybe you need to find somebody desperate enough first. But it, she needs to be married. I give uh, you three weeks. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna lead us for three weeks, and in those three weeks I need to no. find a woman that I'm gonna... Alright. Hmm. Yeah, three weeks. You have me for three days. What if what if I don't like uphold my end of the bargain? What then happens? Well, what if then all the, what if all the medic um, women die? I mean, I didn't want to uh, go into that, but usually, if you don't uphold the devil's contract, uh, reclaim your soul. Yeah, that kind of stinks. I know, right? But you know, this is why you uphold your end of the bargain, right? I mean, you're up for it. I mean, Are I'm you cool? Cool, I'm gonna roll an intelligence cool, check. Cool, cool, yes. Good. I know you. <laughs> yeah! You think it's a wonderful idea. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm taking it. You know, Cyrilon could tell you how you can, could get this deal done without risking your soul. Well, uh, here's the metal slate. Sign here. And, and uh... Right. Yeah. Just use your yeah. finger, your claw, make the sign. Siren. You see like an infernal spark at the tip of your finger as you sign the contract. And as Ooh, you as you finish cool. it, it makes a <laughs> sound. Wow. What is all these... Ah, oh, don't worry about it, Fiatrix. Uh, okay, okay. I, can, I, I could do those before I, before I got dead. Yep. Yeah. When I was less dead than I'm now. Fantastic. All right, uh, your name is Siren. Yeah. I, call me Guide. I shall hey, guide, guide you. He adjusts his. Hey uh, guys, you can come back. I now have a guide. <laughs> I just need a need a moment. <laughs> Gonna need a moment for that. Yeah. Uh, he holds up one hand, and inside of it pops a tricorn with a feather in it. Puts it on his head, and in the other hand pops up a wandering stick. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Don't ask him to give you a stick. So, so I just made a contract with this guy. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you, you, you laughs. Is anybody coming back when I shout for them? Sure. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like the guards inside will say like, uh, uh, Siren wants your attention, miss. What? 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 
He, he had finished with the devil, apparently. Oh, I don't, I don't okay. know. Can you shoot him now? He like no. trails the heavy crossbow. Uh, oh, okay. The crossbow away. That devil is our friend. It, it's a For devil. Uh, we, we're not here to deal like deal with devils. We no, deal with devils. With to... You are not here to deal with devils. He is. And I pointed Siren. Like, I'm just a guard. Don't need no need to be sassy. Who even are you? I'm. Who are you? I'm Jim. I'm Siren. Well, hello. Hey, like Jim, don't you have a sister or something? No. Not for you. Huh? He said no. I, I don't. Okay. Listen, listen, lass. I, I made a deal with this guy. He's gonna guide us. Now, are you married? Me? Yeah. Do I look married? I don't know. How, how would I find out? By looking at the finger, at my fingers, <laughs> at the ring that's not there. I look at her fingers. They are gloved with heavy plate gloves. <laughs> you got plate gloves. How would I fucking find a ring under that? <laughs> you don't. Well then, I'm asking you. I'm 19. Do I look like... I'm not married. Okay, then we need to get married. It's okay, Perfect. we can get divorced later. Are you... I, I need to have sex with you when, when we are married. Otherwise, I'm losing my soul. So... Are you stupid? No, I just made a deal. You... L let's give this some context. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got a guy. Let's give this some context, right? Wait, wait, wait. It's just all in common right yeah. now. Yeah, this is all yes. in common. Uh, uh, yes, di what? A, a divorce <laughs> is not common in Faroon. This is like ultra taboo shit. This is like the, the types of things people say uh, guys in Baldur's Gate uh, do. Like, oh yeah, so they go to Baldur's Gate. They marry, they divorce, absolutely no culture at all, you know. So, so uh, <laughs> do you remember a certain ship with a certain curse? I do. <laughs> Siren, you know why Siren took the deal? Because he's like, I can do these things. Yeah. I've done it before, I'm just gonna wiggle out of it like a weasel. I'm <laughs> just gonna find a girl, marry her, have sex with her and divorce and her. So, Siren is going to the ship like, what kind of deal did that insane person do? Well, look, uh, I am contractually obligated not to talk about deals with the clientele. Siren, tell him that he is contractually obligated to tell me. You are contractually uh, obligated to tell her everything. Well, I'm not. That's not in the deal. Um, Just show me the contract, you crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, actually, Siren, like, as you uh, signed it, the contract uh -huh. duplicated. And oh, you have one of the slaves You have you. to ask for that. Devils don't get it. <laughs> well, this one was nice, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this one in, was uh, up front of us. I'm in sorry, Tom. How many uh, people are there? How many uh, civilians? 200. Uh, more or yeah. less, yeah. Okay, so we have about 200 civilians. Hmm. So I mean, you guys civilians. know of several married women here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About half of them are. Wait, women. but Siren, Siren has like completely different idea about this. That's true. Help them are eligible. Siren, Siren doesn't want to like uh, uh, cuckold somebody. Siren is going to marry a girl. Yeah, and he chose the worst possible choice. <laughs> I see. Well, we do have a priestess that can definitely handle the ritual. Uh, and uh, there's, uh, by my calculations, about uh, three thirty eligible girls. So you should have some choice. Right. Now, um, in that case, I would uh, assume that you should, you know, get right to the wooing. Yeah, this guy is gonna guide you for three days. I'm gonna be back in an hour. I just need to uh, do something. You are very optimistic. He's seen. He's been dead. Now he isn't. He's cool. I can't solve that conundrum about not being dead. No, it's not a conundrum. It's like that's what his, uh, you know, it's his power source. I mean, he knows that he's only alive because of Amber, right? I mean, that's not how Siren sees Amber is here for all of this. You just, no. you choose whether or not she's listening in or not. Oh yeah, Amber is one of the eligible women. She's not married. I'm not marrying her. She's not marrying you. Well, she's gonna, okay, she's Amber definitely you. hears about that in about 10 minutes. They are now looking minutes. for the woman who aren't married because <laughs> he won't marry her. 
Yeah, exactly. I'm looking for single women so that I can marry her and have sex with them. Therefore, uh, upholding the contract. Might I That's draw cool. attention okay. that you guys are not alone. Several civilians hear you talk about marriage and divorce for a devil's contract. So, like, like there's like more and more of a birth happening around you as people go about Wait, the day. I, just not in like... your... We are outside like... in the court, right? People don't walk just there. No, no, you went back okay. in, right? No, we went back outside. No, no, we are, we are on outside because she was okay. doing the ritual. John is like, man, that is incredibly evil and not okay. I'm not okay with this. What do you mean evil? That's... You don't marry a girl That's just a... to divorce her? Okay, then I'm not gonna divorce her. Good. I'm just gonna go off, off on an adventure. Well, you, you better get her on board with this. Well, shit happens, you know? Well, I don't know. She's gonna learn it at the appropriate time. Now, John, didn't you say you had a sister? No, he doesn't. I, I don't have a sister. Especially not for you. I don't even know you. What? I'm the hero of Baldur's Gate. What the hell? How do Who you not you? know me? Really? I'm si I'm serious. I just made a deal for you. Oh my god. No, you made a Why deal for Why are you so your... harsh to my heart? Have you because been in Elf World are... before, Siren? No. Okay. That, I'm just a guard be here, okay? So. Oh. Looking in the background. I did hear about the hero, and he's right there. And he points to silence. Yeah, he's a hero. Ah, oh, I'm not a hero. Stop pointing to at me. Well, you're more of a hero than that guy. Furthermore, do I understand that this good-for-nothing knucklehead just made a deal with the devil? No, with, so... with a devil. The infill say I'm contractually obligated not to talk about this. Yeah, he's contractually obligated to not say anything about it. Yeah, Siren will just handle Cyril on his contract. Yeah, so <laughs> the stipulations are he has three weeks to lay a woman that is married. Does the contract say that the woman has been married to someone else? No, because that's no. exactly what I was avoiding. But did you avoid The woman has to woman. be married. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Like, and if he doesn't fulfill that, he loses his soul. He, do he does have the equivalent of uh, 27 human days to fulfill. Like, it's no, it's 30 days, right? Yeah. That uh, One week yeah. is 10 days. Yes. And uh, upon failure of contract to uh, to uh, have sex with a married woman, he has forfeit. Uh, he has forfeit his soul to be given over to, and it has yeah, the name can, of your mom on it. Can, can we use what, what, more Sila medieval Ina? terms, no. Zonalar? Sil what? Sila. Can can we use more medieval terms, Zonalar? Bed her? I don't know. Lay with her? Something? Have sex? The fuck? What is this, 21st century or something? Well, probably says like fucker, right? It's wow, rude. rude. So, Cyrilon is looking at the contract, looking at you, looking at the contract again. Fulfill, uh, fulfill Nodding. sexual desires with a married woman. Then tell you that you're exceptionally, you are exceptionally stupid. I'm exceptionally heroic. That's what I am. You, risk, you are I'm risking here. your soul for a guide for three days. Fantastic. Only two more and I get and my... No, he doesn't okay. get late. He has to get late or his soul is gone. Well, yes. You... Dreaming hero, are you okay? Oh. We, we can't hear this. Uh, we didn't... We can't... When you start yeah. talking, we don't... We don't hear the start of your sentence. Yeah. Your mic, yeah, your mic is picking you, picking up badly. Like I, I think you need to look at. It's it. probably something in the settings, like yeah. the automated, automated settings that does it. Ah, uh, I hate it so much. Um, yeah, I was thinking about getting a mic because I'm using the laptop microphone. <laughs> I yeah. mean, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's, now it's uh, fine. It's every time that you stay silent well, like... for a long time. Then you need to like say some, uh, I don't know, say a few like, words. Uh, yeah, do like uh or something so that the mic starts picking you up. Okay, okay, I will. Oh, uh, yeah. keep that in mind. 
I can, uh, uh, you, like, there's a noise reduction in the settings, and turn that off. Yeah, and the help. automatic gain control as well. If you turn those off, it will, like, stop trying to, uh... Fuck it up. Fuck it up, yeah. Yeah, I will... Where is it? Actually, I just realized... He's gonna guide us for three three days, but I've got three weeks to woo a woman and bet her and everything. So actually, That's it's correct. better if we go on an adventure now and then I return and look for a woman. I'll be down three days, but I think I can do it in another six. You know that we need uh, three days or whatever time to get back to. Yeah, it's cool. So I you maybe have in... twenty day, two weeks. I can do it in a ten day. I'm what was the? How old are you? Like, wait, how, how old is he? Does it matter? He's, he's really fucking young. It doesn't matter. Medieval settings, people get married around uh, uh, year 15. Yeah, 15. I know. Well, he but clearly has his horns, so he's old enough to bet a woman. He's fucking 21. So he's You're almost too old. He's three <laughs> years older than Cyrilon. Yeah, but not very intelligent. Yeah, so. You are 21. When was the last time you laid a woman? Uh, actually, that's kind of a personal question, don't you think? Yeah, it's kind of important because your soul depends on it. No, it doesn't. It depends you much on your do ability. It without telling you, you know. Sean is like, woman. wow, that's very private. You don't need to listen, Sean. I'm just a guard here, making sure no devil show up at our doorsteps. Well, you already failed on that. Well, look, we, you helped us, so I'm not showing you off. But I don't know about the Siren guy. What do you mean about the Siren guy? What the hell's gotten into you, man? He's a tiefling, he's not a devil. I just sold my soul for her. He, no, not for me. He has horns, he has a tail, he is blue. Looks like yeah. a devil, smells like a devil, talks like a devil. You're sure he's no, not devils a devil? No, devils are red, like her. I'm, I'm blue, red. See? I red, have horns, blue. I have a tail, and I have wings. Yeah, the imp is also like yeah. a deep red. Are you guys really now arguing who is more devil? Well, yes. He is, and she po it's the red points at the imp. Yeah, exactly, he is. The imp oh. trusts, like, it's my home, what can I and say? And you told something about me being crazy just a moment ago? Are you no, sure? No, this is not crazy, this is I'm just hell. Well, how about we go on the adventure now? So, uh, how are we going to uh, to call you, Mr. Imp? Oh, I'm just following along, right? No, he's, he's, he has a name. Wait, he has a code name now. Uh, guide. Okay, Guide? Are you going to deliver the message to my mother? No, he, like, I mean, he I can guidance for three days. Yeah, uh, he will, okay. you know, he, he has to scroll. You have what? What did you actually ask him for a map? He answered that question. That's not possible. For a map or otherwise to navigate Avernus, without oh, going insane. He is going to navigate. Us well, now. I am the answer. No, you're not. You're the solution. He is. Okay, I want an answer from. I am problem. the answer. Okay. No, you are a problem. Yeah. Uh... Uh, he he rolls up the scroll and incinerates it. Done. So, Siren, if it's you who has Wait, deal with him... Was that the incineration, incineration, or I said it, incineration? Siren, uh, uh, if it's you who has the deal, does it mean that we can just, you know, go on and don't have to wait for Siren to do whatever she's doing? Because I really want yeah, to get yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, we have a... Yeah, actually, like, why did you guys want to go? To that no, machine! No, to the tower of the sword and the bird people. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of think that the tower with the sword and the bird people is kind of important. Oh yeah, that too, I guess. Well, the machine comes right after that. No, the machine comes way later because I'm not going to step into the front line of devils. Well, yeah. I can. I have a chance to survive that. You don't. Well, then why do you care? Wow. You ask me why I, why I care about you not getting killed by devils? Uh, so, Imp, uh, Guide, uh, yes, how master. do we get how do we get of this flying city without flying? Well, I recommend uh, going to the ground of Avernus. 
Oh. How about you, we climb, you climb down the chair? Have you considered? Oh, well. Look, she already has all the answers. What am I here for? No, no, no. You are supposed to guide me. Unless you want to break our contract. Where do you want me to guide you, master? Uh... <laughs> Outside to the, city? the tower with the with the with the sword and the bird people. The, uh, but first, outside oh, the, the palace. City. That's not yeah, the yeah. The bird the people. Tower, uh, uh, <laughs> what? I guys, I, I gave you guys the name several times. Come on, do you not re uh, remember? No, I don't remember a name for the tower. I just remember. That there was no tower. It was a palace, right? Yeah, no. the castle, yeah, the palace. They yeah, created the castle around the sword? Yes. Oh. A, ca a castle is sometimes called a tower zone, no? Okay, since Serialan like, is... Like a so tower is a literal tower. This is not yeah, a... This is not... This is a fort. Okay. To the okay. fort. It's not tower, it's not palace, it's a fort. Yeah. Can our guy be someone who is not mistaking architectural structures, please? <laughs> You want to go to the bird people? What what kind of bird people are we talking about, Master? Kanku. Okay. Kanku. Dragonborn said it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in a Let's ask the elephant. What do you knows. know about them? Okay. Uh, the elephant uh, says all the things that you know. And he will say, Oh, the Kanku, Chuka and Klonk that you just told me about. Yeah, Chuka and Klonk, exactly. Who work two. at Fort Knucklebone at the hill that looks like a hand that I posted to you? In this corner? Oh yeah, that one. I mean, the, the one that I didn't get to see? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yes, I can I get you there. I don't remember a hill that looks like, look like, look like a hand. I literally posted the <laughs> posted it in the Discord. I'm looking at Avernus. it right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't... I didn't identify it as such. Yep, it's very vaguely... Uh, very... It it's like not a... a literal hand in sand, right? It looks like one. No, it, look, doesn't, it just, doesn't even look like a head for me. It's just a bad angle. Well, yes. that's good. I think that's it's super angle. cool, okay? Yeah, but it's a bad angle. It's a bad angle. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Sure? It's a, you guys can have your own opinions, that's okay. I don't have Look at Zoro yes. defending this as a <laughs> to it. Don't need to I like, like them. I like it, so, you don't like it, that's okay. We get rations. We get stuff. And then we follow guide to Fort Knucklehead. Yeah. What what she said. That's good. I'm ready to go. Uh, actually, I'm <laughs> ready to go as well. And if you I didn't send a message to my mother, I'm going to make sure that she makes soup out of you. She has a message, okay? I didn't send the scroll in flames just so it didn't get to her. You summoned me. I'm upholding my end of the contract. Don't fucking blackmail me. Blackmailing a devil. Isn't how devils flirt? You know, I start to feel sorry for the imp. Thank so you. Guide, He's an uh, imp. So, so guide, will, yeah. will we face danger on our uh, travels? Obviously, yes. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm hearing war cries from up here. From underneath us. So, I can get you to Fort Knucklebone. I cannot help you avoid armies. Yeah, we have to get around them ourselves. I do hope that you have some sort of a, I don't know, uh, what is the correct word here? Like a hunter? I, uh, I, I am a guide to get you around the elements. Uh, I cannot help you with uh, uh, swords and crossbows and stuff like that. Well, I hope we can just talk to them and talk to them that we are not of interest to them because, well, we are not the front line. Yeah. The war should be big enough to find ways between. Hopefully. I mean, devils are reasonable people. Oh, yes. You can make contracts all the time. Yeah, contracts, see? Like, like, like this one with me. You should be very quiet, <laughs> Very reasonable contract. So, uh, Sir, no. do, you, do you wish to, uh, you know, there are probably not many things like we devils don't really marry. That's not a thing we do. So, this city is probably your best opportunity to get your job done. 
Yeah, but you are only going to guide us for three three days, so I'm gonna well, get the job done once we return. Are you sure it's going to? Are you sure you're going to finish the job <laughs> afterwards? Uh, no. no. It's okay. You do whatever you think is best for you. I'm just saying. Like, look, I, I mean, got... the problem is, uh, if you are going to guide us for three days, does it come from now on? Or when he uh, says we are going to leave? Oh, he, yeah. said he signed the contract already, so uh, the clock's ticking. So the, the clock is already running. So if he needs five days to uh, get his job done, you're already gone. Yeah, exactly. Well, of course, I will just know if the contract has been upheld through the contract. Well, Mr. Siren, no matter what you do, you are fucked. Or hope, yeah, well, that's what you're hoping for. Wow. Uh, I mean... Wow. That's not very princessly of you, Lady Siren. Uh, this is hell. Nobody cares about what I am here. I'm, I... I'm eating my, my third sandwich that. It's like nothingness, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh, it tastes like something. It tastes like something. Like nothingness, yes. No, it tastes. It tastes like a burnt-out campfire. <laughs> I I do have the cooking ability, so I make it taste like different kinds of nothingness. Is it? it so there, there are several uh, several different uh, tastes of bad, and uh, yeah, you this know. one is sand. Yes. This uh, this tastes like uh, burnt firewood. This tastes like ash. This, this tastes... tastes like the bottom of burnt callus. Now I do hope nobody here has tried to draw a map, right? Because that would be bad. Well, I tried drawing one of the sand, but it was it wasn't very accurate, and it didn't go anywhere. I'm so close to trying. Um, but the what it already... I recommend what you. About drawing a map, uh, is there some issue with uh, map drawing? Because well, I didn't technically try to draw a map, but, but I tried to remember. Oh no! If... Um, oh no! Do you recommend what you did for the last twenty-four hours? Uh, no, this is what I wanted to Have ask. Have you tried before... it again? Hmm. So what exactly is the effect? Because no one wants to tell me what uh, happened in those about 20 minutes. I don't seem to Well, recall. you see, we are in a layer of hell, right? There are nine layers. Yes, like an onion? Like, no, not like an onion, like a spiral. We are at the uppermost floor. Yes, yes, I'm aware. But this is all a hypothetical concept. The mm, space yes. does not work like the material realm. It's well, an no. expression of... Uh, how do I even explain this to mortals? And he like he says like a string of diabolical proverbs. <laughs> it hurts mm. your ears. I... As he as he goes into like the... The uh, like ancient stories of uh So what do you want hell. to tell me? Is that physical... You can Love go to a place. Really here. You can go to a place and take two hours, or take the same journey and will take two weeks. Hmm. Ah, I see. That, that makes why a secret uh, deal is very, very stupid. No, I, well, that also means that we actually do need a guide that is not affected by this. So, and that is obviously not you, since you don't. I, I know one. I know my way around. I mean, no, you know, I know your way around, it, it's easier to get around, but uh, you're still getting affected by I'm a native. I've grown up So here. am I! <laughs> no, uh, no you're not. I grew up here. That is not correct. Year. I was here for You a grew up times. in a fancy magical tower as a princess, okay? In a prison. Magical tower, that's what I said. Yeah, Sigalum, that's not nice. For you to, you know, lie to us. I'm I'm sure you're trying to make a good impression, but uh, that would not be helpful. Hey, I have visited hell a few times in my past already, yeah? So, let's not lie. Well, yes. I mean, I visited Baldur's Gate and I still had no idea how to get around in that terrible but state. Baldur's Gate is a shithole. Well, How yes. do you even know about Baldur's Gate? Me? 
Ah, don't worry about it. What's there? It's, dirty. it's a fun place. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, the actual definitely. fact is that Cyril will cannot help us with navigation here, but he can, so we should be glad we have him. And apparently do not Siren, don't to fall not asleep. Stop. Siren. Good. <laughs> so tell, I hope you are ready to uh, extend the contract with Mr. Guide over there. Well, I guess that depends. How many wife is the local custom to have? Enough. What I then? think I think only one. Oh, in that case, we might have a uh, slight issue. I mean, in, in the emergency case, you could try uh, Silence's uh, mother, and he would probably kill you in the process. What do you mean, well, try my mother? Wow. <laughs> the imp is, like, looking away, like, shrugging, like, I'm not dealing with this. This is a mortal problem. <laughs> That hey, is such I, I mean, a question. I mean, can we maybe stop talking about people's mothers? Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not into, like, scaly ladies anyways. And just uh, get on our way. <laughs> like, we've got a guide and the uh, clock's ticking. Yeah, let's go. I'm tired of all of this. All right. Oh, finally some good decision. I, I think we've given our GM uh, enough time to prepare whatever he wanted to prepare for us. No, he didn't prepare anything. He just laughed at us. So. With these shenanigans? <laughs> He just sent So, it tastes like sand. Uh, you wanted to know how to leave? Uh, the obvious one is climbing down the chains. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that a less obvious one? That's why we have a guide. I can see the chains from here. Well, you, no, can, you, you could fly. No. You could jump down. We could jump down if you have a means of not splattering on the floor. I mean, he could jump down into the river, but that's just as bad as splattering. Uh, there. No, I'm not a wizard. No can do. Mm -hmm. Well, have you tried building some weird contraption that I could lead us to the floor? That would take us more than three days and by the time that you are... You mean like an elevator? I can do that, but uh, yes, even with proper materials, that would take, well, at least a day. You're very optimistic with a day. Uh, well, no, for just for us, day is about... Well, honesty. climbing the chains it is. I mean, I don't need to climb the chains. Oh, Look, like I can fly. This is this is good for me. Just fly after me and it's all okay. Right? She oh, has I'm a giant owl. That. Is that a hippogriff? Yes, that is a hippogriff. And a gnome. Oh, yeah. Yuck. They're not very good yeah. at making deals. The gnolls? Yeah. Why would you have a knoll and not uh, I guess but and like climbing. This one? No, I thought Silent staying here. No, why is Silent staying? I'm playing two Well characters. she wants to play two characters. No, I'm against that. <laughs> you had, should have said that like last yeah. time we talked about this. Hey, it's like... I said that last time we talked about it. You said like ah oh, no. what no, you did not. No. That's why I'm leaving so, Ember here. Just take Ember with us. I mean, that's what. Look, uh, I mean, it's okay if you leave Ember here and Vashik takes two characters. How how is that? In, how is that making it worse for you? Yeah, exactly. Because I don't want to see roleplay him with myself. <laughs> I've, I've even come up with like two different voices because of this, and I'm no longer making the silent siren mistake. This costs yes. me dearly. <laughs> this may cost you even more because you're getting, you're, we will get your abilities. He you trained about. for this day. Don't okay, can we just get to me. the chains? Yeah, yeah. Then get we to the chains. Get going, yes. I mean, sir, I will just jump down, so. Jagged no toes. I mean. Look, uh, let's go to the chains. The jagged posts the of enormous chains of infernal iron hold Eltrel. They are the only physical connection between the city and the ground. Each chain link is 30 feet long and 20 feet wide. It's formed of a welded loop of infernal iron that is 5 feet thick. So you can walk in a line behind each other as you climb down 
Is there anything you want to do as a preparation for this? Get magnets. That is, are there any people? Are there any people you want to say goodbye to, or or something like that? Oh, silence will definitely go like uh, have his family and stuff. Yeah, your mom and dad. And, and tell his proud mom of to you. watch. Tell his mom to watch out for uh, devil-looking types, especially blue ones. Oh, she points at him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like those. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we got the gods trained on them. And just like, you know, take care of this time. I don't want to go saving anyone again. We have everything under control, except for the fact that the city is in hell, and the sun is blue, and shoots lightning. That's a problem. Uh, and Abra is here. I'll do something about that, Dad. But we do have the support of Amber, and of Rhea, Mantlemorn, and of all the Raven Guard. So support of Amber. Well, well, she's an NPC, so she has no say in the meaning. Kind of stuck. She's Varus in the background. <laughs> he will uh, definitely go to Rhea to shake her hand, and to Amber as well. Yeah, I think even Siren will have someone to say goodbye to. Uh, uh, Rhea and, uh, will pull you in for a hug. Both? Uh, silence, knows, right? She knows both I, of them. I think Siren is uh, saying goodbye to every single woman in the cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> please remember. Please remember. Please remember. When I no, come just, back, just, we're going to marry. So just to like Raya and Ember, and he's like, Wait a minute. Raya, are you married? Uh, uh no, I'm not. in the face. That's a well, weird then. question of you, but uh, and would wait, you like to be? Wait for me. I will. I will. When I when I get back, I'll give you an opportunity to save a soul. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. He, he winks at her. <laughs> She's oblivious. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I'm always down to save a soul. It sounds like a good idea. Well then, just prepare some. Uh, just, just prepare some good food for when I get back. Oh, I'm sorry. We are in the burners. That's not possible. It's just the same. Oh, okay. Sure. Prepare any kind of food. I will food. prepare a good food. Yeah. <laughs> good meal. Hearty meal. Exactly. Like the one that Sunny does, even though we can't really taste it. And versions of bird and pan. I mean, I'm, I'm not... I'm not a good cook or anything, but I, I guess I can get some rations. Yeah. It's all right. I'll manage. Okay. Just, okay. Gotta go now. But I'll be back. I hope don't so. Worry. Don't die. I hope you I don't make die. any deals with the devils. Uh, nope, nope. Bye. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Siren. I think Siren is like. I got it in the bag. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so like, we got revived together. What more does she want to? Be uh, a woman with uh, long blonde hair uh, will walk up to the silence and uh, wish him farewell. Hopefully, uh, stay safe, my friend. I hope uh, you woman? can find uh, you can solve our predicament here. And thank Wait, you which again. One is that? Thank you again for helping me and my twin kids. This is uh, oh, yes. Hunter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, when you mentioned the kids, I, I got it. I, well, don't mention it. I'm just doing my part. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she will walk away and I don't know, like Siren looks after her with her kids behind her. It's a... Uh, Apparently, no, no, no. she didn't uh, really, like, uh, Silence has put it together, like, she didn't find her husband. Yeah, but, but Siren won't, uh, Siren doesn't look at her at all. He's like, of course, Rhea, that's uh, actually, like, the best target ever. Uh, feel free to roll an insight check or uh, choose to fail. 
How about I roll a charisma check instead? Okay, well, uh, inside check. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with uh, rolling inside checks. I mean, Siren sometimes needs some help, and he's not good, good at inside anyways. Yeah, it's uh, like uh, the inside check is, does Siren notice by himself? <laughs> no. It's no, like, notice. rare, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. She's the best girl. I should have, I should have noticed this in the beginning. I should no, have married her. A magical for... axe to bash his head in. I should have married oh, her when uh, we got resurrected. What about the magical axe? I don't no, know. Silence. What about the magical si axe? Silence. Is... No, he doesn't. Have it. I didn't have an attack for it. Uh, didn't we like decide that if we are, you know, leaving Rhea, that we will borrow, quote unquote, uh, the battle axe? Oh, no. for sure. I mean, uh, yeah, that's that's a thing you can do. I think so. I, I'm pretty sure that you had... Rare Metal One is uh, more than uh, happy to help uh, you out on your quest into hell. I mean, yeah. Silence still has, has the uh, hammer. Uh, not the hammer, the, the mace. You mean. The hammer, mace, just the thing, thing that bashes heads in. Yeah, but also Cyrilan doesn't have any magical weapon. Yeah, she has her great sword, which is not magical. Yes, she uses a spell. Yes, and she doesn't yeah. want an axe. She doesn't want an axe. But, no, she uh, doesn't want an axe. But Silence will be happy to have an axe. Oh uh, well, if, but she if already you has wish to maze. use this ancient battle axe, uh, I'm happy to uh, lend it to you or give it away. You guys gave it to me, so I could be of more use. But now that I'm staying back, uh, we don't, don't you have need to worry to defend about the cathedral? Well, um, now actually... we are more people here. We have the guards. I can help out with my mundane means. Like, like if we want to make it more a roleplay, I could, I could borrow her my mace, L lend her my mace. But also, I'm thinking that maybe I it don't know. It makes if... zero difference. No. No, they will just like, yeah, change, weapons. exchange weapons. Well, yeah, the war is difference. still ongoing. Uh, we took out uh, the, the portal, right? And we yeah. fought off any devils that made it up here. Well, except for oh. this imp over there. Oh, we, we kept one standing. He run, she runs to the imp and slays him. <laughs> no, oh, stop it. Uh, no, wait, the imp is stop. invisible. <laughs> it's like a fuck so, is the si so the city is mostly safe now. Well, well uh, guess... for at least a couple of weeks, I would say. Who knows for how long the uh, the war will distract them. So Silence will like uh, take a look at the assembled motley crew, and he will be like, "So, uh, Sonny, do you use like weapons?" I am the weapon. Weapon? <laughs> yes, weapons. Haven't like you this seen? One. Haven't he you takes out the mace. Haven't you seen how she attacked me last time? She punches people with her fists. Ha! Hmm. You got fists. Hmm. I got my fists, I got a quarter staff. Is this is enough? I don't need more. Be do you believe it or not that her punching actually hurts devils? Wow, uh, wow. That's, uh, that's a great ability to have. Welcome to the team. Uh, now... All right. Who else is there? He's he's just he just scans the assembled people. Come yeah, you have John. You have uh, Rhea. Completely overlooking Siren. I mean, of course, you have your parents. Yeah. Uh, all the Raven Guard does have his own magical weapon that uh, you did notice when he no, was, I I should... was carrying his helmet. Look, this this weapon is an artifact of the city, anyways. I think I should leave it here. Well, Someone son, if that is your choice, uh, I will, uh, I will accept it. Uh, it wouldn't be my first city. choice, but it's honorable. Very well. Okay. Elthrell will it, remember yeah. this. That sounds it. like a threat. We could like use it for bargaining later, but that's just not what. Uh... Yeah, but that, that's something that Siren will be like. Hey, hey, uh, didn't we just uh, talk about how we could like use magical weapons? Or... I will not use this artifact of the holy city of Elturel as a bargain with the devils. It stays here. Siren lost her ass off 
as Siren suggested that. Oh yeah, be my bad guess. Try to get the hammer from the lizard man. He will bash your head in. Did you just call me a lizard? Dragonborn. Thanks. Devil. Isn't it the same? Thanks! <laughs> you know you just upgraded my rank, right? Not in my world. Well, luckily From my point of view, it's devils who are evil! <laughs> Thank yeah, you, exactly. Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try spinning that to <laughs> I mean, in Sarah's point of view, devils are people too. Are you? Uh, do you guys want to do more banter, or uh, are you ready? No, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, to ready. Tell, are, are you... <laughs> do you wish to draw a map I'm, again, I'm very ready. No, I de Tal definitely learned where the issue had been, and uh, he understands uh, the logic behind the warp space, so uh, he definitely wouldn't try to map uh, That's map a problem. Again. Like, if you understand, we roll another check. You have to <laughs> well, suppress... No. You, like, uh, in, in, in Tal's mind, he has to actively try not to understand, or it becomes... Uh, or like he he brings himself to verge of insanity again. Yeah, yeah, but he he understands he just the condition. Across the head right? the he not, yeah. I, I understands that there's a, that there is an issue. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes, you yes. just I not to think about how it's an issue. You just know. Yes. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, actually, this is Tal's personal kind of hell, so it's on theme. Yeah, he is too Perfect smart for his own good. This is why wizards, oh. uh, wizards on that, uh, wizards don't like this place. So well, we go the... into the city, into a city, and find a lot of wizards that just go, uh, um, rock back and forth because they're like all insane just to try to wrap their mind around this place. <laughs> So let's climb down the chains. Who will climb down the chains? I need to know. Here's my owl. Okay, fly yeah. Down You're on an owl. You can fly down like nearby the chains. That's for sure. Uh, uh, a thing you can do. Yes, yes, I will not climb. Not with this character. Like, I believe that Barret can climb. Okay. So. Silence and will climb down with Baron. Baron could probably take on one more rider at least. Just for the climb down. I think Baron can do this as like the creature he is. Uh, like as a water rake, he, he is able to climb down the chains. Like he will still have to do checks and he might yeah. fail. But it's yeah. a possibility. Uh, I will mention, like you guys knew about, we need to get down the city some at some point during the month-long break. So if you want to have something prepared, uh, I will give it to you. Well, I, I mean, if uh, Tal knew this uh, in yeah, advance, yeah, 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 you did, you did. I build the elevator that I didn't know. And the elevator is out of question. <laughs> we can roll a check, and you you roll me a twenty-five. <laughs> And then you have a functioning elevator. I actually have some chance to roll 25. Try. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I have decent chance to roll 25. Let's see. I, I mean, all he needs is a wooden platform My that check. is uh, um, hanging over the ledge. There, there are a My few... Check on building stuff is 12. So I have like fifty, like almost fifty percent to roll twenty-five. All right. <laughs> so what? How? The elevator is basically have like some weight on the other end and um. Well, heavy yeah, chain like uh, mine, uh, mining. It's not like elevator, like modern yeah, 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 elevator. Yeah, yeah. It's like a mining elevator, yes. you know, with the counterweight, and uh, there will be like two guards at, at the top. And uh, and a bell, you know, and you you if you will, if you need to ride from uh, down there, you will just ring the bell, 
and the guy, the guards will, you know, spin the wheel and and pull you pull you up. All right. <laughs> the raw materials for putting together such equipment can be found in shops and warehouses of Eltrell. So you're spending a good a week collecting rope elevator. and collecting chain that is long enough to, uh, like, make a U form from the floor to Eltrell. Yeah. Uh, what's the question? How do you intend to prevent devils from using the elevator up? Well, you see, uh, the elevator needs, as I just said, the elevator needs to be manned. So you start pulling them up, then look over the edge, and if you see devil os on them, you will let it drop back down with the devils. And then they use the chains to climb up. Fair enough. Then you use... shoot at them and hit them with pointy stakes. I mean, as any devil defense if they attack from any other side. No, I mean, this is a way for ground-based devils to get up. The flying devils get up here anyway and kill the Well, if they start to climb the chain, then you will cut the chain and we will have to find another way to get back. Good. I mean, I can just fly up, so that's your problem. Faria will mention there is... Uh, she will mention it to Silence yeah. as uh, he oversees Tal's plans. Well, the thing is, in the cathedral, can... we do have a secret door that is supposed to lead us outside the city. But with the ci uh, city being in hell, it leads uh, to, you know, where the city ends, to the outside. Hmm. You know, that could be actually helpful, because uh, if those secret doors are close or are defensible, then we could use that and build elevator at the end of it, uh, at the, you know, secret uh, way. It, it would be a way so the elevator the... could be guarded without having to leave the city. Yeah, but, exactly. But you could guard the elevator and also if, if, uh, if there's some issue, then you can just drop the chain and close the, you know, the secret doors and uh, really? you will be fine. Okay. Do we yes. get the water? It Do is it. underneath one of the huge uh, pools of holy water. That is on yeah, do, how do we get the water break through? <laughs> uh, he can he can squeeze, right? That's like half a movement. Yeah, he can yeah. squeeze. He will <laughs> do we get the water break on the elevator, though? Depends well, how big the elevator is. Bigger elevator. Mm -hmm. Do we get anyone else on the elevator with the water break is on it? Well, you, you go uh, several times. That's that's the. There's yeah. no other way about it. Or you make it more difficult. I mean, did did anyone play it like uh, Dragon Age? And there's the dwarven dwarven elevators, you know, that go into deep roads. No, something like that. I don't remember that. I'm sorry, so but I, I see, I see your yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I just remember yeah. the elevators from Thunder Bluff, right? That are attached uh, to nothing. No, bigger. Th th those are those are very small. This this would be bigger. <laughs> If you want to see a big elevator, you have to see the one on the climb in Final Fantasy XIV, because that's enough to place a house on it. So, I need uh, I need three checks. An investigation check that allows the characters to figure out the mechanical setup of a piece or of equipment. A perception check that spots any flaws in the construction. And a dexterity check. And an appropriate tool proficiency that can guide the delicate construction Wait. or adjustment of a piece of investigation. How that is an investigation check? I'm a machinist. I have special skill for it, and I have to use investigation. What is your skill? Look, well, like this the... book does not have the artificer in mind, right? So, oh, yeah. so we can the, make I adjustments. The, I have the tinker skill with the tinker tools that should be uh, usable as uh, any kind of mechanical. What check. does the skill say? It this is to allow the character to figure out the mechanical setup of this yes. piece of equipment. So I'm uh, I'm okay if you use the tinker tools here instead of investigation. Okay. Uh, this is um, it's a big project, so it's more difficult. The DC is 15. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oof. 
then you're drawing the upon your you're it's drawing like upon spiral. your Haldoran experience here. It has I, been done before. With uh, floating cities I, I being mean, a thing. I mean, you know, we use airships to move around and we need elevators to load stuff into the airships and from the airships. This is regular Haldoran tech. You, you're drawing upon a, a experience that your civilization has already to yes. make this uh, a possibility, all right? Yes. All right. Uh, you do have the basic uh, blueprints ready and set up, and you are collecting the tools uh, to create it. And uh, we see the elevator taking place, uh, building it piece by piece, uh, excavating the exits of the secret doorway that leads like into nothingness, basically, right? Because it's just like the earth mode of Elturel uh, and the hole in it where the secret tunnel is. And you excavate it to have more room to build your elevator in. Secret tunnel. Secret yeah. tunnel. You know? Is that the battery can fit through. The elevator is coming together and uh, you have, uh, like, you're starting to finishing it up, giving it the final touches. Now, Wolfgang, when we bring Eltura back into the material plane, the whole city will be slightly askew because your elevator is stuck between the old ground and the city. I want one of you to roll me a wisdom perception check. Nope. Wisdom perception or? Yes, if you see yeah. any flaws in the construction. <sighs> I'm not good at anything here. I can organize. I organize the people because it's the only thing I'm good at here. I should be. Well, I can. I guess he can use like uh, his. He has a perception bonus because of his goggles on sight checks. So, I guess I can at least use that. Okay. So it's fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Uh, you. This is an arduous pro uh, process, but you basically spend an entire day going through the ropes and the chains to make sure none of the links are weak and like none of the rope is frayed as it's like this incredible length that you have to have to create this elevator to reach the floor. And you spot a few weak spots that could snap under the weight of a vault rake and correct the mistakes. Yeah, he's extra careful. We do reach uh, the whole shenanigans of Siren appearing and making a contract immediately with the devil on the first day. And uh, you are ready to leave and he recommends, well, I guess we could climb down the chains to escape the city. Yeah, and now it's like, ah, uh, I have an elevator. What? What? You have an elevator? Yeah, I made an elevator in my What's an elevator? Well, please follow me and uh, you will see. Is that like a levitate spell? No, better. It has chains. Ooh, I like chains. I thought you will. I'm not a fan. Not a fan, no. You know who else likes chains? Do you like chains? So tell Alicia. Serial of Mother. Tal leads you into the basement, right? Yes. And uh, you're all standing there. And he, he, Tal shows you his collection of elevators. I mean his elevator. Yeah. <laughs> he, he pushes <laughs> away the, the holy water. <laughs> and underneath is a staircase that leads down. Oh yes, here you can see pool of holy water. In uh, case some devils will try to climb the chains and the elevator, we will release this and they will have a nice bath. Wonderful, isn't it? It's, it's like a, a... You have to walk a while in, in the tunnel before you reach the exit that is excavated and the built-in elevator. I think Siren will like just not even ask. He will just fill a, a bottle with holy water. Sure. Yes, he can. Oh, Nobody, that's a very good idea. Nobody will stop him. I, I uh, will do the same. Okay. Do you have a bottle? I mean... Silence can say something about it, but I leave it up to you. If you want to do it without somebody noticing it, then uh, a sleight of hand would be. Uh, no, I'm in totally place. rolling a sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Uh, is it Sirene? Yes, it is Sirene. Like, Faria is with you guys, right? And uh, your parents are <laughs> there just to say goodbye. Like so. Uh, you slip some holy water, nobody notices. He slips it up, up his sleeve. You can you can write down that you have uh, like a, a vial of holy water. Like you want to fill like a whole flask? Nah, vial is okay. Oh, a two liter Coca Cola bottle. My God. A Coca Cola bottle of holy water, so you can just quench yeah, is... yourself a bit. So that's a Coca Cola. That's bright, right? Traditional measure of holy water is one Coca Cola bottle. Uh, you know that holy water is not water, right? It is now. It's bright, no. I said it. Holy water is like an oil. Why? That's the holy oil. It's water with silver <laughs> yeah, pieces like inside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just water. It's also blessed. Yeah, it's blessed it, it, is, it has tiny silver particles floating inside it. I think AP went over this. I no, uh, bashing because I'm pretty sure holy water is like a Christian holy yeah. water that you have in Azins, which is just water. Uh, yeah. Oh, that sucks. The holy olive oil. Disappointing. Holy olive oil? I like that. Let's have some uh, some garlic in the holy olive oil. Oh, yeah, because holy... then you can make holy spaghetti, uh, spaghetti carbonara. Holy sunflower yes. oil. Look, I mean, your Holy food. Holy food. <laughs> you you're eating blessed food if you speak out a prayer before eating. That's literally what it is. It doesn't change the taste. No, it does. I mean, why should it? That's not that's not what it that's not what you're doing. You're blessing the food. Yes, I prepared it. I can bless the food. Does make it taste better? <laughs> what bless it to make it taste better? Yes. Um. All right, uh, now you have to uh, uh, activate the contraption as people are boarding it. Uh, I would say this takes several times because one is the war drake and the mm -hmm. other is the rest of the party. Mm -hmm. But I if, can uh, fly down. Yeah, sh I mean, look, yeah. Rest of the party, still... with the exception of those who are flying. The knoll yeah. is not flying. The war drake is not flying. Silence of Sira and the Tal. I mean, and the Gnoll can stay here, so he's safe. safe. I yeah, shall protect because, you! Because otherwise, uh, Zonalar is just going to kill him. Oh, oh is Squeegee yeah. coming? Oh. Yes. Squeegee is looking at you with big eyes. Silence? Actually, I think we, I think we already talked about it and we said yes. Yes, Squeegee. Yes to what? Yes, she, she says. Yeah, she... yes, she no, can go. Yes, with yes, she's going. Like she's my retainer, my faithful servant. Let's say. I shall be faithful to you forever. Dies instantly. Oh. Well, forever is not a long time span. It depends entirely on your on your perception of forever. Uh, I will this... lead. Uh... So this is your tool proficiency to use the elevator and uh, you're using your dexterity skill as a base uh, what tool can... proficiencies do you have uh no, well i have tinkerous tools but those are not using the the, the dexterity and yes. i have steel so, so i can here use... here you would use tinkerous tools but with your dexterity instead of okay. intelligence to to operate this machinery so basically, uh, you're using that's, dexterity. That's okay, uh, can I use my TV tools then? Because those use dexterity. Yeah, sure. You can click that button. Yeah. There you go. It's another 29. Why do you have a plus 11? Because I have bonuses for those. From so the artificer as well. Uh, uh, explain it to me, please. Everything that's a tool, everything that's a tool has a bonus from Artificer. Yes. <sighs> this is I why I don't like artificers. artificers. <laughs> You've been complaining about the lore wizard, but you are not <laughs> Artificer. Yeah, don't, 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 uh, just, just, 
You yeah. just need to stop making him do it's the thing that's good. It's literally called tool expertise. Yeah, that he's good at. Just, just make it's him do something. It's something my that character is good at. It's the one yeah. thing. But that's okay. It's okay if it's good at it, right? That's totally okay. Yeah. And uh, he rolled uh, pretty fucking high. It's yes. The artificer is changing in uh, in Tasha's cauldron, though everything's fine. It's changing. <laughs> yes, the artificer is totally changing in in, 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 um, in Tasha's cauldron. It's different. You can't you can't make you don't get the items that you can make with a level up. You don't have them anymore. Gone. Okay. Um, and so it's actually balanced. That is something to investigate, Wolfgar. Oh, come on, Artificer isn't that strong. <laughs> you deal and more I, damage than most of the people here. And the uh, tool a, expertise... And it's a non-combat class. Oh, right. Um, uh, so... um, the tool expertise vanishes as well. We got rid of um, the archer, so now I'm in the middle of the iron. Right. <laughs> That's not right. what it is. But, but... But you can infuse. You can do infusion. So you can infuse your own um your own weapons or whatever. Yeah, and get bonuses. Plus one bonus. It's plus we, two. We are not something. here to take your toys away. We just want. Yeah, no. We want it to be fun for everybody. Which means no like OP bullshit for one dude, but not everybody. I, I I really don't think Tal is that OP. No, no. I I think it's fine. I I think this is fine. Like the elevator. This is fine. Yeah. But because you, you can't take the elevator with you. <laughs> yes. Actually, but this actually is... I find the artificer weaker now in Tasha's cauldron. Well, yeah, it sounds so... like it got nerfed. Wow. Not. Wow. All right. So you are uh, using the elevator to travel down towards the floor, and uh, you see the armies coming closer and closer to your viewpoints. Uh, they are several hundred feet away from you. Every day, several thousand feet away. Uh, several hundred, hundred several hundred. Uh, and as you go closer, I will roll a perception check. For the armies. So yes. now Zonalar will proceed to roll 20,000 perception checks. No, he just rolls 1d20 oh. plus one per member of the army so, so a 1d20 plus 2000 you guys see as you travel down that some of the armies like uh there are several uh, of the winged devils uh who are uh, using aerial combat and uh a couple of them stop and look in your direction and uh so... they look like they are talking to their superior which appears to be uh, like it's a large creature, a uh, red scaled, with wings on his back, and a massive mace on him. A uh, guide? What is the chance that they will feel Argent need to do something about us? Oh, oh, that's Lucille. This is a pit fiend, one of the highest ranking devils. He doesn't care. She must be uh, in charge of the army here. And do you think he cares about us? Uh, as you say that, right? Uh, Lucille, the pit fiend. Uh, let me actually find your picture, right? Tired. <laughs> Can I just be stealthy with an owl? With an elevator? In a stationary? No, she's on the owl. The question is not if if uh, she sees uh, if they see you. The question is if they see the massive elevator. This is what they look like. Oh. Yeah, it's Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so, she appears to be giving off a command. And you see, uh -huh. like a squadron of devils flying in your direction. As you're slowly taking the elevator down towards the floor. First of all, who's on the elevator? Second of all, how big is a squadron? So, your water egg is on the floor at this moment. And this is the second, ah, okay. the second one where uh, everybody who cannot fly it's on the elevator to go down. So, except Squeegee, because she will always stay with Baden. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. So, this uh, is Tal okay, so... and Silence and Siren. Yes. And I think that's it. Oh, yeah. And uh, the Null. I leave that to Unicorn. Unicorn said no. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay. That's, it's three of us then. 
Yeah. Yes, it's three of us. Hey. And, uh, hey, ga uh, guys, uh, uh, what's what's that uh, flock of uh, strange red birds uh, out there? Uh, I'm pretty sure those are not devils. Devil. Yes. Devils. Devils. Yeah. Devils. 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 Not devils. And you will definitely fight them next session. Oh, 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 oh. Elevator do combat! To... <laughs> do we have to fight them or can we persuade them to just not bother with us? Well... We can, the we answer is you have it. to fight them. 100%. <laughs> yeah, because that worked so well before. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have to fight him real hard to make him uh, regret his choices in life. Let me write down <laughs> elevator combat so I know where to start next session. Oh. Elevator no. That's the only thing that's worse than elevator music. It's elevator combat. It's Devil May Cry all over again. Devil May Cry has guns and you can maneuver. Oh, there were so many, there were so many elevator combats in Devil May Cry 3. <laughs> I remember there was just, there was a level. That was, that was just a series of combats on the, an elevator. I remember that. That was horrific. <sighs> And you could fall down, and every at every point that you fell down, the you would have to wait for the elevator to come back down. It wouldn't even kill you and reset everything. You would just to have to wait for it. Like if if there were different things like the chains, uh, or like flying down with a parachute, like there there are stealth checks involved. But mm -hmm. I don't think we can hide this elevator. No. I just don't see it happening. <laughs> I just see some devil's cucumber. Yeah, oh. I, it, it's like, there's, there's a weird thingy that goes up and down. Oh, well, uh, dispatch of them. Go ahead, uh, send, send a flying squadron. Whatever it is, it needs to uh, be investigated. So the question is, will they instantly attack or will they instantly investigate first? Well, we will find out. Uh, uh, is my, the investigation we want to wait to find out? The investigation is, are they... Our devils? The answer is, well, I don't know them. Okay, then they're the, the enemy. <laughs> oh, I'm a devil. I look like a devil. I smell like a devil. And for them, I'm a human. So, uh, thank you guys I'm for playing. Devil. I had so a lot of fun. You had fun? You're not allowed to have fun. Oh, no. You're no? the GM. We... Oh, we just Are you wrong. sure about that? Right, I did have fun to witness someone, you know, more or less selling their soul. Right? Yes. <laughs> like, what? Isn't that fun? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> because I don't agree on an intelligence check. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how I don't play some of my characters. Like, I was like, look, if he were a more intelligent dude, I would be like, okay, I'm gonna make a, like, a decision for him that's wise. But his... His wisdom is like minus one. His intelligence is plus zero. So I was like, I'm just gonna roll a check. Maybe he just like because it's not, it's not like un undoable. He wants to be cool. He wants to be like prove he's useful. He's a technically a new guy. So he's yeah. like, yeah, I'm just gonna get I us a guy. I know who died because of this before. Oh, also, yeah, also uh, already before he he outsmarted a goddess almost. No, he did almost. not. It's almost this important. No, no, you. No, I mean, no, no. Actually, so the I, goddess, yeah. the goddess was told like you did the thing, right? There was no yeah, punishment exactly. from the goddess. It was because exactly. you killed a dude in cold blood by betrayal. <laughs> yeah, but he outsmarted the goddess. He did not outsmart the co the the dead dude. You did not outsmart came, karma. Yeah, I did not outsmart karma, but I did outsmart the goddess. So he's like super cocky when it comes to dealing with these things. <laughs> also, karma is a goddess. Also, not only not only did the did the dead dude come and killed him, but he came back from the dead. So he's like, ha, in the end, I can do anything. Everything <laughs> yeah, right I've got the devil's own luck. You know, if Sierra runs around dead cocky around Amber, she's going to tell him that she might that. Bringing him back to life might have been a mistake. That she would, would never that... say that. Why? All right, uh, you guys. Actually... If he goes around that cocky around Emma, she will say that. Do Do you guys uh, want to say anything before we end the stream? Eat chocolate. 
by there Death to Owls. Wait, no, that's a different stage. Rude. Uh, wait. Mm. Not prepared for the Eat your vegetables. Kill the yeah. elevator. Kill the elevator? Draw I do hope they are elevator. not attacking the elevator, right? Red, I can fly. <laughs> I am flying. I'm on my owl, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm stealthily flying down. I will, I will give the elevator oh, some hit yeah, points. Very stealthy, gigantic owl. We can do that. You know, the good thing is, I can save two people. Uh huh. The thing is, you not, know. not the ward rack. The ward rack is gone if the elevator drops. No, he, he's, <laughs> he's, he's on the floor. He's on the floor. That he does the dinosaur. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We will see you guys probably next week. Goodbye. Yeah. Maybe with cameras.